Welcome back to Max Mode 2024. We are here with KOF 15 Top 8, and it is an exciting Top 8. I am Cookie, and I'm joined by... I'm Will, the tank. <laughs> Can't wait to hang out with you guys today. Shout out to Data FGC putting on Max Mode. We're going to have an awesome KOF Top 8 today. A lot of familiar faces. Some maybe not, but <laughs> exciting games all together. We got international <laughs> presence here. We sure have uh, the GOAT, F Kang who just played at SWC a weekend ago. So I'm excited to see how he pulls up here Heck yeah. in our first match of Winterside Top 8 against one of my favorite players, Boom Cube. Shout outs to our Tennessee friends. Man, this is a tough one. Love them both. Wish that they could both win, yeah. both succeed, but one of them's got to go to losers here. Oh, man, I'm uh, all biased. I'm, I want Boom Cube to win because he's been like, one of my favorites to watch play this game because he plays it in such a methodical way. Yeah. Um, but like he always makes the top eights and then gets it so short due to miss inputs or whatever. So I'm hoping he's rested up today. I'm hoping he got the miss inputs out of the way. <laughs> well, while they're uh, fixing up buttons of character select here, if y'all are following along the bracket, you see all of our players and winners side. We have uh, Chris G and Dino Tail. We'll see them after this match. F King versus Boom Cube up right now. Loser side, we have Goonicorn versus T Wong, and Ayo It's Dave versus Beanie Bee. <laughs> That's gonna be a funny set. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a very funny set, but I think uh, we're not doing any button check this time, so I think nope, once they are ready, we are going in. I can't wait to see what these players are pulling out. F Kang, I know, plays a whole bunch of different characters. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see what the choice is. Benny makes sense. Sylvie makes sense. Cheeseru makes sense. Yeah, yeah, this is what he I played at uh, SWC. When I think of F King, it's the Cheeseru for me. I think that she stuck around the longest across yeah, all the Yeah, probably. It was Joe for a while, and then it just wasn't Joe. True, true. It was like he's switching out the Joe for the Kyo, and now we switch out the Kyo for the Benny. And we're sticking with the Sylvie. No Naj this time. And he you is see, known for the Naj. Yeah, you see Boom Cube over there committed to the uh, the Kyo and K-Dash for all the time. He's never switched off this team. He's like the yeah. Shadow X of America, <laughs> where he just doesn't switch his team. He stuck with this team from day one, and it's still the team to this day. And I mean, it's still a strong team. The first K-Dash believer in the <laughs> States. And, uh, <laughs> it's I, true. I think he's shown a lot of what this character can do. He's the also got the execution for the crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. He's, he's crazy. He's one of the most consistent uh, K-Dash yeah. players I've seen, and Ready? his pressure strings are like unrivaled in terms of how he structures them with that character. Nice little slow start, Boom Cube just trying to move his way in with movement on the whip punishes, but not working out so far. Corner already. F King gonna play that contain style with Vinny Maru's limbs. Oh what my a God. roll! All right, we're evening up the game right there. Nice combo, nice roll through the right Jiken. Okay. Oh, just thrown back. Danger. Oh. Bad trade, game stop. Yeah, that trade feels extra bad. Now you're in a potentially really scary scenario. Woo I do like that. Choosing not a tech roll uh, in the corner position already. I'm sure, you get up faster, but you get open up the throw. Yeah. Unfortunately, the escape gets eaten there. Down a character. Yeah, F Kang's been really good about hit confirming really early on in this set. And that's really big. That's a lot of damage for Benny on the table. Woo! What? That, that's what. But unfortunately, F Kang just really on top of the hop approaches. Nice. Gets the hit confirmed. Oh, he messed up his meaty. Oh, and he misses the cross up. He was doing that in casuals, too. It's all right. We got two games to play with. And K Dash is still really healthy right now, but. That could change very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Good little 300. So yeah, Boot with a lot of ground to make up at this point. Full character. Nice hack. Yeah, there's that minute spike yeah. on block that I brought up. Oh, you don't want to see that. Oh. Boom Cube, gotta do everything you can to not lose this character. Ah, yeah. too, too close. Too close. Try, tried to commit to the, the cheesy stuff with going for the minute spike low. Yeah, uh, F King pretty content to just not approach at this stage in the game. I'm gonna just chill. Oh, and then he goes a little wild to start the round in the Benny Mirror. All right. Okay. All right. That's there going go. to be dead a dead Benny. We still have three bars on the table. This is a really good, really good potential chance to come back. But now you have Sylvie with two bars, and Sylvie with two bars might as well be a train running through you. Character puts the hurt on. What is this color? <laughs> what is this color? She looks like a Laffy Taffy. Yeah, dude, the classic costume. What? That's 
was on block, but what? Good pressure coming out from Boom Cube. No punish on the uppercut. Jumps in to the fireball, but still getting control again. Don't forget that heavy oh, slice. Plus, good so punish big. here. What is this combo? No! no! We cannot afford those. <laughs> that, that combo was a little wild to me. I've never seen a Benny do that. Maybe Boom Cube has the secret draws. Oh, oh my god! Footsies. Doesn't connect? What is that doesn't going connect on? off of Farby? Oh, well, I mean, I guess the startup is too slow, right? Yeah. Farby, Farby in general don't really have a lot of hit stun. No, just missing enough anti airs. This character feels like so fast. Alright, safe jump. Nice! Nice jump back. I think he wanted air, air throw. throw. Yeah. 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 He is a Guilty Gear player after all. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's, that's great. This is chip, chip territory. Try to kill before 12 seconds. Uh -oh. A little bit more health Plus. back. It's looking rough. Nice DP. Anti aired. He is I cannot imagine that so badly. No, no way. No. Ah! Oh, wow. What is happening? Hanging on by a thread. The Hail Mary from deep. But now you have no meter going into a cheese roux with two bars. All it takes is one raw EX clone. Yeah, in a weird way, Boom Cube is going to have to be more aggressive here. The more you wait on Chizuru, the more likely you are just getting oh, hit by crap like that. Yeah. yeah. Now you can't get hit by anything. Oh, baby. It's, it's time. The clone from so big. deep. Oh, man. I like, there was, there was some promise shown toward the end of that game there. I mean,. We all know that Boom Cube's Binimaru is clutch. Yeah. Uh, just need to carry some of that power back over to the first two characters. We gotta see how the, the Kyo goes this time. Maybe Kyo gets a little, couple more interactions and has a little better defense. But F Kang, though, must, must, be must be feeling like pretty confident after having so many unpunished uppercuts. You may go a little bit more wild this time around. Yeah. <laughs> Man, those whiff punishes really mean a lot, but wow, that JB actually right. still connected. Here comes the mix. Nice block. Puts himself in the corner, but he's got faith. We're back to mid screen. Oh, yeah, FK back on the defensive style, but waiting around isn't good enough. Alright, push all the way to the corner. That's the hard kill mid screen route. I've never blocked in my life. Who blocks? We're masters. Nice, he got the low! Unfortunately, just out of range for the big combo. Yeah, he needed to be in the corner to get the full confirm there. What a hit confirm. I think he wanted he tried to go into a different record series to get the Rochinage cancel. Yeah. Yep, rolling, opening up the throw on wake up. What a fuck. Far A. What a far A. That button is so good. Woo! Nice. 3D is footsies? That's, that's me. Yeah. I mean, first, first hit of 3D is footsies. If you let the second hit rock, you die. Just have faith. That's true. All right. We got Lassie uh, Tappy back crushing. on the screen. What the hell? How did the run get through Wait, the... Wait, that command dash went through the fireball? What was... That was... Because that was uh, the D version of the command yeah. dash. Yeah. What Kino the hell? secretly have low invul on that or something? Well, what the... I have never seen that. Nice We're TV. innovating today. Nice. What a match. Uh, mash is out of the overhead. Oh, that's Big huge. punish. Unfortunately, out of the corner, but we're going to go to the other side. Oh, no. Maybe trying to, like, jump over an uppercut on a read? F. Kang is a filthy os -er. He was trying to, so in a lot of those situations, because people are going to wake up throw, you want to do neutral full jump to make the far C whiff. Yeah. But I think he was still in his run that he eventually just got, like, full jump forward. What a trade. Uh, the blackout trying to get yeah. through. It would have worked if it was a little further, but he teleported right into the fireball rather than through it. All right, here comes the pressure. Good yeah, guard nice. cancel, but actually stay safe with oh, you're the dead. Oh, no! no! That should have been DP in the super. I wonder if he didn't think he was going to be on that side. I think he's dead. Oh, I know. He only spent one. He only goes for the one. Uh oh. That is not the normal you want to win. There we go. <laughs> that nice. is like one of most, one of the most like recoverable normals on K Dash. That has so much recovery. Yeah, that K Dash far C is still very strong these days. Maybe not as good as it once was. No, it's two frames slower. 
Some people don't think it's worth it, but I think it's, it's still whip cancelable, so it's still a, an amazing normal. Back to the Chizuru, of course, uh, F King's signature character since these last couple of years at this point. Wow, this game is getting old. Yeah. Oh! Good pick up! Yo, he has those? Man, that's that, that's that old man input, bro. And the Kara 6B? Oh my god. That's that KOF 13 style. Oh, you're dead, though. Should be. Doesn't have to spend an extra one. Yeah, that was just enough, too. But the pressure there would have led to tip on block regardless. So now we get the Benny, the clutch character with almost four bars against a nearly empty Chizuru. Now Chizuru's EX moves and her level ones are really tight. See if FK can get out of this one. Uh -oh. He's trying to far D, maybe catch a whip cancel. That one works. EX slash. The block. Uh-oh. Oh! No punish. Yeah, FK. Maybe he's down, but getting some momentum in reality. That 2D is the GOAT. Super button. Oh. I'll never block that overhead. Unfortunately, Boom Cube didn't either. He's going to suffer here. Not dead. No guard. uppercut Don't for you. Have to guard cancel just to stay safe. Please. Yeah, we're back at this like random clone could take the game. Yep, yep. Immediately. Did that one cross up? No, no, no. Uh, who, that, that, was the, that was the stay. Yeah. Even F Tank was like, man, that was disgusting. That feels bad. All it takes is one EX clone. Putting big, fast red boxes on the screen will do it sometimes. Yeah, but, I mean, especially against Chizuru, it's like you want to try to move about, but she's really a character where if your movement is just slightly off, it's just EX, com EX clone into you're getting jailed. Absolutely. I wonder, uh, so if you're following the bracket, we had those guys play first instead of the Chris G match because Chris G was still an ST. Why does he play everything, man? Why did he win four tournaments this oh, weekend? Oh, my goodness. But... He's made it now, getting ready for the Chris G versus Dino Tail match. Should be a good one as well. Yeah, well, we were uh, we were talking with Dino Tail about this. Uh, we were watching him play, um, I think it was Goonicorn in casuals, and it was uh, he was playing against a Ramon, and T-Wong was like, um, he's playing against the Ramon, and then he has to play against Chris G. He might as well be regressing 10 years. <laughs> there are some really weirdo character representatives yeah. in, in this event. Uh, I, I think mean, we have a we have a Shingo in loser side. Hey, sometimes you just got the crits. Just roll better. Sorry sorry about your gotcha yesterday. That, that's on me, big dog. That's crazy. That's on me. Oh man, I hate Grand Blue. Your Shingo though, when you rolled on mine, you're getting all the crits. <laughs> and I rolled on that other guy. Yeah too. you did, you did. And I gave him the birthday celebration. Oh man. I was triggered bro. But anyways, we're not rolling here. There is no crit available on these teams. It's only how long can Dino Tail's patience last against a team like Chris G's. Seeing some classic of, well, just the classic regular old guys. He plays it. No way he picks Andy. OK. Do it. No, yeah. I've been hearing okay. about this Mason Kuhn, yes. Yeah. We have the two more Doom characters and then Yashiro. You know, Yashiro, maybe not all he used to be, but he still and, goes and in. And more Doom and then Virgil. Yeah, that <laughs> fair enough. He doesn't have swords, he just has J, JC. And far C, and 5 CD. It's true. Yashiro is still a, still a really oh, strong the character audio vanished. this time. Uh-oh. Uh, did it get stolen in someone's stick? Who's, who, who's using what stick? Is he using a cross-up? Do we got to blame T-Wong? <laughs> no, he's on a... It's someone's There's an sick. Obsidian right now. Uh-oh. Not the Obsidian. I know the Obsidian no, but is... The, the cross-up, yeah, on, on Chris G. Uh-oh. Sticks and audio. We love the, the PlayStations. That, that's, what I, that's, what I deal, that's what you deal with on a PC when you plug in a... Um, there it is, yeah. All Went right. to one of the controllers. You deal with the same thing on PC when you plug in a PS4 stick where it just shoots all your audio to your controller, yeah. and it's like, bruh. Well, here we go. Got that figured out. Now we're off for a good one. Yeah, first Hyder and second Maiden Coon, and then the Virgil in the back. You're so right. Yeah, that is Virgil. Uh, in the really, back. really interesting use over there on Dino Tail's side. Like, all three of these characters can go into any slot and get rewarded handsomely for any amount of bar spend. Yeah. We were uh, we were talking about like what his order could be and who would do well against what. And he thinks the Rio versus Hyder is a really good matchup for Rio. 
I can see the uh, the parry being like a low commit way to just build bar and not hit it. Well, uh oh, the audio's going crazy. Um, it's also it's also Hydrant can't really throw fireballs, and that's one thing Chris G really wants to do is like put a fireball on the screen and force the neutral presence. Up cut. And he can't do that. Yeah. And if you, that was what we also saw at SWC was the Rio against the Hydrant using the parry to stop a lot of what Hydrant neutral could be. 22 Dino Tail with excellent spacing on his uh, Shokokan. Back to mid screen entirely. No cross up that time. It is funny to see Crispy fail at playing the defensive style. No charge, I don't think. Alright, doesn't spend the one bar, but gets a safe jump. I can't believe he got close to you all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah, Dino Tail really appreciating these, these Sonic Booms cross. Alright, now damage. we guess on the cross up. Does Dino Tail have these cross cuts? Same thing. Drop from Chris G, though. Yo! Oh my god. The token into DP Rambo. Now guess. Nice okay. mash out. When in doubt, DP out. A lot of health coming back. You know, that was a long round right there. Dino Tail also sitting at almost three bars. He's got to be enjoying himself. We need to use this theme. The worst theme in the game. Nice block on the cross up. <laughs> oh, too far. All it takes is one of anything to kill. Really scared, pokey game here. I, I can tell Dino Tail really does not want to go down. Oh, no, what happened? I wonder if we tried to DP after it? Maybe so. Yeah. There's the cross that time. Roll back, gets out. Yeah, nice two C trade. Trade, but still a lot of time on the clock. Should be coming back with like 600. Yeah. There's one thing that Dino Tail picked up on uh, is that um, Chris G's high turn cross up is very noticeable because you can see his dash start up before he does the full jump. Yeah. So it's really easy to notice something like that. Nice, nice. punish on the fake. You got a safe jump off of this. The new mechanic. Yeah, we're advancing on our strikes. Okay, that is so much reward for an anti-air. But Chris G got those. Good what jump in, too high, unfortunately. Did get the hit and pressure, but Nathan Coon sweep. Kind of crazy. Is this the round? Yeah, that's gonna yeah hit. he is gonna spend it. Okay. Get that character out of here. Rockers and the zoner is not a lot of fun. It's true. But now you got the Yashiro, and this might also not be a lot of fun. Time to swing. Ready? Nice. The neutral jump jump CD. Rocks, you know, still really strong. Oh no. Good trip guard, but no pickup. That's gonna hurt. No uh, accidentally gets the uh throw. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take any punish. Because he is playing with a lead right now. So as long as it go goes below 42 seconds, it's a really big lead for Dino Tail. Good 2C. Yeah, we take those. Safe jump. Now Chris G needs to find a way to come back into this. He does have a lot of meter to make it happen, but Dino Tail is playing so solid right now. Yeah, Dino Tail got to play as slow and defensive as possible. Chris G just literally has no choice but to go in at this point. Especially because you're playing Yashiro. You don't got any projectiles, only your fists. Play with the Dino Tail got the read on things slowing down right there. Chris G trying to greed out, doesn't spend it. Understandable. That that was the uh, the old Zhao High in 14. If you're gonna uppercut, might as well super yeah, might get as the well reward. Super, yep. You get bar like water. And he does have the one bar, and all it takes is one hit from the Yori here. Okay. Still three bars on the Yashiro, so you don't want to get hit by anything too meaty. A big meaty man on the screen. Could be buffering here, trying to find just like a hop to catch with the uh, the Rambo. There we go. Yo, Iori 2C is so sick, man. It's just, it's like one of the best anti-airs in the game purely because you can autopilot into Rekka and get the knockdown on the yeah. same jump. On counter hit, you yeah. get the juggle. On regular hit, you still get to be you plus. You just whip the first one and you're still plus. Yeah. It's like, it's like, man, this is the best autopilot anti-air I've ever seen in my life. Iori deserves it.
you know? Probably not, but <laughs> he didn't get a lot of showing in top 8 at SWC, so he knows. Okay, oh, back to the order, order select. Understandable. I don't. We put the Maiden Kun in on point. Yep. 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 <laughs> I think the Maiden Kun did look a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I can see maybe a little bit less reliance on the fireballs to be irritating. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult for Rio. I think Dash Punch plays a huge part of this. Um, and also, I think uh, Maiden Kun's 2C is really good against uh, Koken and Rio's Marcy. Yes. So. We'll see how this goes. Round one. Ready? Go! One fireball. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. The fireballs are so much slower, you're going to get a lot more mileage from running up behind them. <laughs> Maybe two. Oh, wow. Great punish. I get a little too scared and swing into those myself, but Dino Tails and Top 8 for a reason. Playing the lead right now. Nice. nice. No, no overhead on me. Yeah, he recognized that mad early. Attack! I actually really like the use of the uh, the up ones. Yeah. Even if he's not trying to jump the fireballs in the regular response, he is wasting time just standing away parrying. Yeah. It also it throws off the, the mix up. It throws off the timing where parry is not always going to be the be all end all. Did not react to the fake that time. I was hoping we get to see a couple more of those really strong from Dino Tail. This round is a whole lot closer than last. There we go. All right, he's two, two for three. He was ultra ready to react to the CD4A. Yeah. Really good stuff from Dino Tail. See if we see uh, more of the first game in this. Yo, boys, what a whip punish. Yeah. Yo, Dino Tail is on one right now. Far D from so far away. Thank you to the activation range buff. I got to put a little more respect on uh, Ryo's sweep. Dino Tail is hitting them everywhere. Parry, also, uh, parry yeah, do the parry cancel. Yeah. yeah. That fireball, the weird acceleration, a little too slow. Ends up getting hit. Cross up. No, yeah, no OS on the cross up there. Not I mean, building any bar at this point. We're capped out. Are we looking for the uh, EX Hall for Token Snipe? Yo! Yo! He, 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 I think he can choose to kill here. Yeah, you're Gonna dead. Go for it, yeah. God, yeah, this Dino Tail guy. The DPs have been so that, on point. That was some play with his heart right yeah. there. And now he's up. Last character, Yashiro. Of course, no bar, so Ryo's job at this point. Extend these rounds, build some bar. So that Rock can come in and clean up. <laughs> it actually, it traded, which I was surprised about. But honestly, if it sucked him out of his super, I would have cried. Managed to build more than half a bar. Rock with an EX and a super does so much. Here we are, in the corner versus Rock Howard. Good anti-air. I mean, sometimes you get the read on the early jump in, right? So you're just going to sit there, crouch. Bop. Same jump. approval. Yes, the close is. Unfortunately, it's far B there. A little bit far out. Nice. Nice 2C. Nice 2C. All right, Dino Tail. I, I have noticed Dino Tail's going for the uh, the regular throw in a lot of his offense. I think Christy maybe picked up on that. Maybe that's the jump back. Yeah. Damn! That's the Chris G reactions we know and love, and he kept it above 30 seconds, which means he's gonna get a good chunk of life return. And we are in a close to even game, especially with the meter. Say it, one bar in EX. Uh -oh. That's a lot for Yashiro. That's an even game. Oh, he oh it. drop. Uh -oh. Alright, safe jump with the. No! Oh, goes for the command that we get smashed oh, out. No. Jab, DP. This is. Closing in on the end of the game. Yeah, this is scary. Not enough to kill. You get the stamp of approval. All right, what's the mix up? Dash out, cross up. Nice cross cut. Nope, All right. Yo, put the wall up. 
Do it again. It'd be really funny. No, yeah, not here. Cash up C. Yeah, close D. Nice jump D. The JD from D. Dino Tail throwing it away towards the end. Chris G staying solid with the Yashiro. After all this time, Yashiro's buttons are still great. Yeah. <laughs> Chris G making awesome use of the like absolute max range of a lot of them. We yeah. saw some far A's, saw the far C's. Jump D, still one of the best air normals in the game, well, in my opinion. Abuse JA. Oh, yeah. The There's not a lot of bad buttons on that character. No. But uh, back here, no order change, no nothing. Dino Tail, gonna roll back into it. Now this is where your game plan of keep being through pressure becomes really scary. Because I think Chris is going to start being ready for it. Nice. Goes for the record, too. Okay. Too scary to deal with. Okay. What we were saying before, you know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's playing really solid neutral right now. Dino Tail may be looking too hard for the parries, but it's time to change it up. It might be too little too late. Nice throw. Now guess. Nice. The DP ends up working. Yo, did he run up for full screen to get the close D? <laughs> oh, I was gonna say he's the GOAT for a second. They're both crazy. I feel like you tried to do EXDP, but I'm not sure if it actually lost to the 4A or not. Ready? Oh no, Rock. Maiden Kun 2C, just gonna zone Rock out of the places where he really wants to be. What are you gonna do, hop on a down backing Maiden Kun? I don't think so. No, that's command throw. Yeah, absolutely command throw. Missing the long cut is so Woo! rough. Good punt at three for four. Yes. Safe no. jump. Yeah! Oh! Yes, sir. The advantage strike yet again, claiming Chris G's life. I cannot believe it has throw in. Oh. <laughs> it's plus on block too. Alright, we're even. Yeah, Lord back out. to this matchup. Hydron with the one more bar, but doesn't use the bar doesn't use bar terribly well outside of some close hits. This is rough. Dino Tail just can't get out of the corner. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. Never mind! Woo! What a hit! Guard cancel back and we're back to real mid screen. Yeah, but you do have to hold some of these fireball things. Wow, what a 2C. Big damage. Alright, guess on the cross up. I reckon he yeah. Whoa! He landed just outside of cross up range. He yeah. stand low with low C. Switch blocking the uh, AMC low. Two different holes. Dino Tail down to his last character. It is Iori. Miracles can happen. Getting punished for his uh, run up and wait kind of style there. Yo, the 2D! 2D. Nice. Flash kick out. That's safe on block, yeah. I really like the run ins, but you gotta do the second part. Oh. Mix? Yeah, has not found any command throws on either oh, character. No. Oh, that's big. That's this enough. This might be the Man. crumble. Not enough to kill. Not quite. But not a whole lot left in the tank for Dino Tail. Plays for a Hail Mary EX claw there. Man, he had such a good start to that set, and then Christy clawed his way back. That second game feels bad. Headed down I mean, to losers, yeah. Potential Chris G winning a fifth tournament. You hate to hear it, but you really you have to respect. To you really have to respect how good he is at a multitude <laughs> of games. It's Just true. stop winning, man. Let the other guys have a chance. Yep, now we get to talk to Ralph about this set for the next hour until he plays on loser's <laughs> side. But we do have our first loser side top eight match coming up next. We've got T Wong versus, versus Goonicorn. Man. That's exciting. I'm looking forward to the rest of this. Uh, I think winner's finals is going to be a crazy match. F-King is, you know, a mainstay. And I hope he Chris pulls G. out Joe. I hope he pulls out Joe against Back, 
back to the classics, back to the old me. I, I would love yeah. to see like the zoner be zoner. Um, that would be scary. You know, uh, Josie X Fireball against a lot of the other zoner characters. Kind of an interesting interaction. Yeah, I mean, his, he just got the best EX Fireball in the game. Yeah. So you just can't interact with it. And you know, F King also has the uppercuts. His reactions are insane. Oh yeah, he was getting don't, so many DPs in that set. <laughs> don't jump at F King. That, that Latin American DP life, <laughs> they have it. So hard to contest. But uh, we do have Tiwong versus Goonicorn. Uh, Tiwong, I know, is playing uh, Shunie, Kyo, Benny. Select members. And, uh, I was uh, like Team Hero last game, right? Basically, yeah. There's uh, two Shunies in this bracket. The other one is on the other loser's side. So I'm excited to see how much work the Shunie does put in. I'm, I'm curious to see how much of the matchup Goonicorn knows. Um, because Shunie can be a very overwhelming character if you don't understand where you can actually interact in his yeah. block strength. Historically a very under, uh, underrepresented character, but after the buffs in the last couple of versions, the character's kind of nice. Yeah. I've always been a big fan of the, uh, the far CC cancel. See if those come out in the extended pressure situations. Yeah. It's really interesting the way I've seen uh, Dave, who's the other Shunie play, versus the way Siwon plays. Because uh, their styles are very different, and how they use their light normals is also very different. But we do have the geese coming in from Goonicorn. This geese character has the normals. Hard yeah. to jump on, hard to pressure. His far A covers so much ground. Yeah, the geese matchup can be tough for a lot of characters. I know Tiwang was talking about the geese matchup with Shunie. Um, and they were talking about how if he does end up losing this matchup, he's going to switch around his order. Uh, Interesting to hear, yeah. But the, the Kim, the Kim coming in as the battery, I'm really interested to see how the Kim ends up faring because I did miss top 16 yesterday as I was commentating unit top three. <laughs> Finds the jump CD, unfortunately mistimes the second one, and now we're in the geese zoning stage. Unless Unicorn just has the best jump CDs. Oh no. Thought it would end up getting a combo there. Instead, Goonicorn gets a combo of their own. Nice rollback. Wow. Yeah, back, back to the slow part. Unicorn just trying to fish with the, the jump CDs. Get as much reward as he can when he does find it. Fortunately, T Wong here, the position to take the round on the next touch. Ooh. I don't know if that was intentional, but that worked out really well in T-Wong's favor. He tried to do uh, the startup of Dash Fist, and he got caught by the 2D. If you jump 2Ds, well, frankly, geese hopping at you is so scary. Yeah. Super healthy geese, just about no bar. Uh, Kyo can do so much with just a little bit of bar himself. He just has to find the hit first. The Goody Corn is walling up, but... Went a little too hard on offense there. Good he mash on the 2B. Out of his strike. <laughs> oh, no, no combo though. There's the low. Yeah, that's kind of one. I I think that you can just OS uppercut react if he does any follow ups on a record. Yeah, absolutely. But the presence of mind when you're in a top eight situation is pretty tough. No longer safe punish. on delay the there. What the? This geese is in such good shape, man. The Hail Mary red but kick. I feel like he's playing for information, maybe? Because that's not how I typically see Tyler play this matchup. But, but we're in loser's side. You can't give too much away. I don't know, bro. A lot of the Mexicans lose game one to win two straight, so maybe he's channeling his inner Mexican. Good run under. Dead. Well, I thought for sure he was going to have to spend another half a bar, but no. Finimaru with the damage. Finally getting a little bit of momentum. Uh, see how this gem works out. Nice. Gets the anti air with the knee. And the pressure begins. There we go. Finally finds the space out. It's kind of kind of crazy. You know, I, I would expect T Wong to have some of the sick uppercuts that he did before. Big damage there and a lot of carry. 
I understand being a little scared to roll up on Kim too hard. There's the air throw. Well, the thing about this is Tyler has played Kim before. When Kim originally released, he was thinking of putting Kim on his team, so he played Kim for like two or three weeks. I see. So if there's one thing I know, it's that Tyler knows how this character functions. So I think he's playing at the exact range that you want to in that scenario to win for those 2D punishes. Because yeah. once you keep him on the ground, it's significantly harder for him to play neutral. Uh oh. Did eventually find the round. Uh, no big damage from Goody Corn there. That should have been EX fireworks into 75% of your life. Drops on the lane. Yeah, both of them trying to slow it down. Finds the 60 over the fireball this time. Not really rewarded for it, but I think it kind of freaked Unicorn out there for a sec. I like that jump in response to not get hit by a grounded taco. The 2 see with cancel. L little bit of a weird stare down there for a quarter second. Uh-oh. That should be could have been a lot. That is yeah, that going is to be it. game one, though. <laughs> that uh, Benny Maru was about to make work happen, but Unicorn could not let that go. Yeah. I think mm, I'm curious how Tyler is going to play the Kyo this time because the Kyo kind of just, at the end of that set when it was below half health, was kind of just doing stuff. Yeah, just fizzled out. So we'll see how it goes this time. I don't think there was any order switch. I think we just went back into it. Ready? Yeah, stuck with Shune, I, I recall you said something about uh, if Shune didn't work out, he might have switched the order. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, to be fair, it was really close. Yeah. The, the point matchup was really close. And I mean, he's changed up his gameplay a lot. He's way more aggressive now. No DP. <laughs> He's still so oppressive. The crowd's fierce to try and catch him out, but it didn't work out. Now we're back to neutral. Woo! The EX air dash is so high. Unfortunately, it's a juggle there, and is putting himself back into the corner. Plus, Plus what a roll. roll out. Times it so he doesn't get the guard cancel either. Must have been a very tight window. All right, here comes the blender. Just takes a little juggle. Oh, you're dead. No! I chose not to spin the bar. Plus right. Yo! Uh, yo! The fist from D. So the thing that Shunie can do is if you're ready to cancel it, you can do EX grounded blue hand off of your lights to get a whole confirm mid screen. Mm. So I was actually surprised that Tyler didn't cancel into it there, because it would have been huge damage. Might have been concerned about the bar or wanted to hold on to it. Here. Oh, unfortunately, it does light up. Right? Interesting to see the uh, the fireball there from Shune. It hits so high, it might cover some weird stuff from Kim. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that thing is perfect for catching top height, and it comes out significantly fast. This is like the air to air jump C there. Yeah. Uh -oh. Maybe getting a little too cute for his own good at this point. Yes. You get flash kicked on block, the kick special. I love seeing everyone uppercut with their heart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying it. Alright, but I mean, T Wong with a significant lead in this second game. Yeah, you know, Kyo also well positioned to deal with some of the hops. Uh, that wreck of one. Nerf though it may be. Ah. Yeah, there it is. is now Tyler is up a whole character here. This means this is a uh, five bar. Game. Five bar Yori though, you know, like a light can be sixty percent. Okay. Taco, taco. God, you are getting mixed, and that is a dead Kyo. Managed to keep more than three and a half bars as well. He's very well positioned to get yeah. this next character too. The mix-ups just ended up working out for Goonicorn. High commit, high risk, and high reward. 
A lot of bar on Benimaru, though. Uh, you, you're not going to be allowed to throw a fireball for a while. Yeah, this is easily t Wong's best character. Always keeps him in the anchor slot. Um, Interesting. I, I mean, the slower game makes sense. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Finds the jump C. Jump this is huge. Not enough to kill. All right, now guess your life. EX Scum Gale will kill in the next interaction. What an air to air. Nice! Big. Ben two. Oh, he's been three. Doesn't have to kill. Ah! 10 0. The this chip out. The chip out. The right Jeekin from D. Oh my god. Keeping himself alive. I say, after getting hit by Iori for, for like 80% off of that touch, it, it must have been a little bit rattling. Yeah, holy climax. An those. inch away from killing. No meter, and then the right Jeekin just hits with the tip for the chip. Oh, man. Tyler living by the skin of his teeth. See how this one goes this time. Ready? I mean, the Shune did great working against Geese last round. I mean, for Unicorn, honestly, that last game was all the Ori. Yeah, it really was. Ooh, okay, enforcing the Pressure. mix. Look at that guard bar going down. Nice pickup, big damage. Yeah, that is another thing, is that when you let Shunye run on you like that, the guard bar does begin to add up. Did he just backdash over the Rapuzi? <laughs> you know? Sometimes he got the finesse. Nice! CD is over the 2D. Yeah, the CD does have low in Volm, so that is amazing to see. Shunye. Destroying Full health at this point. Woo! Only a bar, but like we said before, Shune has some unique tools to deal with Kim. Chasing him down after the minus frame. A little dangerous here. I wonder if we're gonna see a guard. No! Nice. That's one of the shoot! That's one of his best reversals. Is that super right there? So yeah, given given that his uppercut moves him forward for a bit. Yeah, that's his best one to like stay in place. Uh, uh. Nice roll again from T Wong. Unicorn actually looking really good this time. Nice, gets the clip on the 2D, and time ran out pretty yeah. long there. So Still the comes out with about 700 health, then. You know, two and almost a half bars. Ready? Yeah, not a bad position. Nice. nice. An even better flash kick to start the round. Actually crazy how quickly he charged that right after a hop. Uh-oh. That's a lot of damage. Bop, 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 bop. There's the uppercut. Too long showing a lot of those. Yeah, showing the EX, the four frame DP. Oh my god. Unicorn actually looking real good. Finds the punish. That feels bad. The Shatter Strike on block. And Goonicorn all of a sudden in the lead. Tiwan playing on the back foot, but his best character coming in. Vinny down to two bars. This character can do a lot of work with very little. Nice! Cross! Reset! And we're going to the anchor matchup. Spends all the bar. Iori coming in with four, and we saw what happened last time when uh, he had this again, much meter. We're, we're down to Iori hits you for 80% for a jump in. <laughs> really scary. T Wong is going to have to be on top of it with the far A's, the far B's, and the, uh, the uppercuts. Yeah. The right Deacon will put in a lot of work here. Uh oh. Like I said. Right. Yep, he spins it, all right. Yeah, spins it all. Now EX Scumgale will kill. There, there we is. go. Man, Man, great stuff to Goonicorn taking it 2-1 over T-Wong.
That was awesome to see. Uh, big Iori fan here. I think all of us in Georgia like Iori. <laughs> Uh, oh, seeing that character eat this version has been really nice. Yeah. <laughs> he was skipping away in joy, that Goonicorn. Yeah. Man, feels good. And I know uh, Tyler's going to be talking about that one all day. Can't wait to hear that after top eight. Yeah, but I can't imagine he'll be happy. Yeah, we do have one more top eight loser side match to go for the first round. Yeah, it's time for AO, it's Dave and Beanie B. Yep, that's a Central Florida representative in Beanie B making his first, you know, regional slash major top eight. Mm -hmm. So that's good to see. And then uh, we have AO, it's Dave, uh, Philly representative. Uh, I plays. can't believe that that character's playable, but if it's AO Dave, he can make anything work. I said Philly, not Billy. My bad. He ain't playing Billy. He already, he. You he, got me excited I for know. some jank stuff. I know. I mean, he's about to pull out some jank stuff once you see his team. He probably plays one of the most diverse teams in this entire bracket. Uh, probably more diverse than what you've seen at SWC. Mm -hmm. um, but he did want to play Billy, but he said that uh, Billy needs his specific buffs to be playable, AKA make 6A actually usable again. <laughs> but uh, until that happens, he has his other favorite KOF character in this game. A, uh, you know, the clone himself, AKA Shingo. He's that guy with the crits. Like I said, he, he will play weirdo characters. Yeah. Damn, the button check. He's a weirdo kind of guy, what can he say? He literally, he said, once he's done with this bracket, he's gonna go home and play pinball. Respectful, pinball's <laughs> fun. <laughs> So we'll we'll uh, we'll see. Getting this button check out of the way, make sure all of our buttons work. One thing about Dave, uh, you may not see it. He uses an e toki stick, uh, and the thing about it is he has like a four pound spring in it on his joystick. I he, think I remember he this be stick. Cranking that thing. Yeah. Like his wrists have to be crazy, cause like I tried to use that stick and that thing was heavy. Those wrists and forearms. Yeah, bro. He's Ready? flexing. Go! Man, shout outs to Itoki Sticks. I don't think they're around anymore, are no, they? No, they're really not. No. Like, the only people, I, I think uh, Aru has one as well, but he's had one for like seven or eight years. I like, remember, those things are a relic of the past. Yeah, we had one locally on a uh, gas team, Bernard. I know if you're watching, but now he's a hitbox player. Uh oh, leverless. Those cheaters. Yeah. Buttons look good. Time to hit back character select and get this one rocking and rolling. I think we have the only pad player in top eight, Beanie Bee, playing on, I think, a Hori pad. Uh, Beanie plays an interesting team as well. Uh, he plays one character that's pretty common and two that are pretty uncommon. You know, I recall playing Beanie Bee in casuals. What am I perceiving? One. No way! He was playing this team in casuals, and oh he's going to actually gosh. play it in bracket. This is not the team I expected Dave to play. OK. No, he's going to pass he's on switching. that. There it is. There's the Orochi Chris. <laughs> and then show me the Shunie. Yep. The AO, it's Dave's team. Uh, a very interesting <laughs> team, to say the least. <laughs> the Shunie action is cool. I, I enjoyed watching the last one. See what AO it's Dave can give us. Yeah, we got the Orochi Chris on point though, and then Beanie B with the King, Orochi Shermi, and Iori, and we're going back to the main menu. <laughs> Are we changing the song on Isla's stage? Registration. Uh, maybe they got the wrong side somehow. Select members. What the hell just happened? Match kicks off with an Why did we let these two goofballs lineup. up on the stage? Right. Honestly, some weirdo characters on both sides. Yeah, I, exactly. I don't think we see a lot of kings, but we certainly don't see a lot of Orochi Shermies. The, the only king that we have left is Salvi. Salvi's not here, obviously. He's the only one who believes that king is still, you know, good enough to play. And he's really the only one that can pilot the character in such a strong way that you feel like king is not that bad of a character. Um, but Beanie has been using this character a lot. Uh, had stuck with the character through and through, and I mean, made a top eight appearance here at Max Mode, so clearly it's been working out. Personally, very excited to see the Orochi Chris, uh, that little evil person. <laughs> little evil guy. But he has some really neat tools in this game. Battle of Titans. And it's just fun to watch the uh, the rush down to make you feel bad. Yeah. And then I see the, the middle Shingo there. 
That character spins bar really well, but you have to hit the crits to go along with yeah. it. And then, of course, Iori in the back, like we just saw last game, one jump in for yeah, 80%. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's a great case to leave that character back there. Yeah, we also have Shunye on the anchor, which is interesting. Because um, I've never really seen Dave, you know, use a whole ton of meter. They use the half bar with the grounded EX blue hand. And I wonder if they just want consistent access to that. Zoning's way down, try and zone out the Oakley. Minus, no real punish though, unfortunately. I don't think he knew it was punishable. Nice, gets the jump in into the command grab, get the TP off of that. Nope, no roll though. Nice. So very irritating for Chris to deal with. Yeah, he does have a fireball of his own, but... but it's quite slow. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna be a whole bunch of damage. Oh no! No uppercut. Nice! Gets the throw reset and another safe jump. Yo, the 2C traded. See, there's that slow fireball. Yeah. Really, really painful. Ooh, perfect JD. Chris no. does have one of those CDs. It's hard to crouch and make it whiff. Yeah. Woo! Wow, the backdash minimum strike. The Air EX fireball and Vini taking game, or round number one. I was like, game number one. <laughs> All right, this is it. The Shingo with the orange tracksuit. <laughs> He's that guy? Yeah, Shingo kick over the 3D. Uppercut gets a crit as well, two for two. I mean, they buffed the, the RNG on it, so he just crits like crazy. He's just a gambler. See how he's able to deal with the Orochi Shermi. Wonder if uh, Beanie B is more of the zoner style or he's trying to go in. Oh, he's trying to get hit. Oh boy, here comes the Crit. damage. Crit! 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 Oh, him. oh no! <laughs> I can't believe that, man. He's in such a good spot to take this round. Nice. Oh, the two Ds a goat. Oh man, the Orochi Shermi got to not play the game. But the Ori coming in, this is one of Beanie's most solid characters. Probably his best character on its lineup. Again, coming in with a lot of bar to spend. He's looking for those jumps, but he's definitely scared. Nice match. Mash out, does not finish the Rekkas. Of course, gets the air hit. Trade on the taco. Oh no. Yo, didn't let him finish that at all. Just guard cancel me out. Yo. I say the sweep, like, actually not that bad on block in this version. You will see some funny stuff like that happen. Oh man, yeah, you're gonna get the OTG there. Throw is scary here. No he uppercut. Is even the close C mash, though. Looking good. Can't taco me if I stand up and hit you. Yeah, exactly. Dave taking game number one. Yo, Dave is that guy, though? Yeah, it was Dave. <laughs> or Tomato Dave, as he's co colloquially known. <laughs> Although I don't think he uses a tomato PFT anymore, which is so sad. I miss, miss that era of Dave. Was that Beanie B going back to character select or order select? I thought it was just replay. We're in the black screen of death, so I think we're just going in. Oh, we are just going in. Okay. I heard some some menuing around there for a sec. What a round start. No pick up. All right, Beanie B is going to try and take this one as slow as he can. I mean, the king put in work against uh, the Orochi Chris last time, but what a command grab. No punish on the roll through. Beanie B, kind of lucky for that one. 2T, not in time. It is weird. Uh, oh, Chris feels like he's a lot faster on whiff on those. Yeah, maybe. Here's the contained style, but just a clean jump out from Dave. Nice. Those situations reverse. Still has a life lead for Beanie B, though. 2C wow. mash, that move is still incredible. Uh oh, drops it. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, chip. Yeah, nice. chip on the tornado. Just had to wait out any potential uppercut, and yeah. then we can go in. Yeah, waited out, baited with the 2B, saw nothing, immediately committed to the tornado kick, and again, the king takes out the Ocris. But this is the character that ruined it all last time, and that's about to ruin it again. One. Two. Oh. Take you. <laughs> three kit, three crits, and we're out. I say, Shune can do a lot with just a little bar if you if you hit the crits like that. Yeah. <laughs> no crit that OTG. time. Still gets the OTG. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Maybe you just looking for anything here, just stuck in the corner. A throw might lead to some offense. Nice, okay. Now it begins the game. No way! Hey, you. Ayo would save, really showing some unique uses for the tools. No, the overhead! Really getting the read on the BDB. Tries a hard bait out of DP. The far C the far C again. Match, yeah. Now you know that's it's a good button, covers the uh, the no jump, and if they're close, obviously he has that awesome Kyo close C as well. Yeah. Damn. Yo, wow, actually got out on the other side there. Note to uh Beanie B uh down AO it's Dave on set point. Why Bari Ori gets thrown out of the record too. Love that answer. Oh, that's a huge hit! Ah! Oh no, he misses the uh, the claw. Yeah, the yeah he misses the DP. Down so much bar, that just feels awful. No two C. No anti air. Nice. Oh no pickup though. Had a shot to kill. Hit potential. <laughs> There's the 2C. The okay. run up 2C, and the Ori's not out of it just yet. Does have three bars going into the last round. Beanie B is alive, but he, he has to not feel good about how that went. Probably not, but I mean, there's one thing Super Dave's really good at. It's the light confirms on 2DA from what I saw. <laughs> It's a little, little avoiding that. I can't believe that connected like that. No punish on the guard. I don't, I don't know if you actually punish that. Oh no! I this is so much that. damage. On, on, spends one bar. Yeah, I think just about any hit here is a hit for BDB. Uh oh. Reversal timing fireball. Chance. Ah, uh, just rolls into the jump D. Yep, got caught by the JC and Dave taking it 2-0 over Beanie B. That was actually a really close last round right there. Oh, that yeah. could have gone either way. Yori has all that explosive potential. Things could change in any, any one hit. Man, that feels bad, but congrats to Beanie B for making top eight here. Shout out to repping Central Florida. Yeah. We're down to uh to the six now. Yep, down to our top six. Our next match coming up. Are we taking it back to losers or are we gonna go ahead and do winners finals? I have to assume that we're, we're gonna stick out. Losers. Stick out we're losers. Okay. Boom Cube versus Gooniecorn. Yep. Okay. I like this. I like I like to see the potential of this. Alright. Yeah. Like we are ready to go with our losers corners finals. Get into it. Boom Cube versus Goonicorn. Let's see who is going home and who has one more chance to run it back in this bracket. Say everyone familiar with the order that everyone else is playing. No reason to hide that at character select. Yeah. No blind picking here. Is that a Street Fighter Five stick? What is on Goonicorn's stick? There's like a whole bunch of stickers on it. Just, uh, I think it's the the brand hitbox with a bunch of stickers. Uh oh. Yeah. True. 
a lot of stickers yeah, now that I'm looking over. <laughs> looks like someone's car. Ready? All right. All right, Kiel versus Geese. I, I think we're going to experience some of the same problems that Geese puts up. Ooh. Big punish. Well, no bar yet, but. Commits to the full Rekka there. Boom Cube trying to test Unicorn. Maybe trying to scout out some information with that one. Ooh. Plus frame. Ooh. What they have there, I actually really like the Unicorn poke with the, uh, the far B. Probably buffing a special in there too. Oh man, he's so tough to get in on and so tough to defend against. Gets I, like, out. I like that jump forward to avoid the DP, but that JCD is putting it work. Roll barely gets past the Rapukin. Boom Cube has a lot of ground to make up, and the timer's getting low. No this one is low. Uh -oh. oh no, just stands up, gets hit by it, trying to run. Yeah, that feels bad to get clipped by that. This is only game one, so... There is a potential for the information download and to make the comeback. Yeah. Now we have K-Dash, a good like anti-zoner kind of tool set. Oh, he expected that deep jump. Gets hit, not expecting the target combo or the uh. Oh, Offense has been really small. It's, it's mostly just been like one button into target combo, no like jab, re hops, or anything yet. Got the side switch on the DP though. That's a start for Goonicorn. Yeah, Goonicorn taking the uh, the life lead pretty convincingly again this round. Good win punish. Doesn't actually turn into anything, Boom Cube. Now that that one Shifu can hit him, he's pretty wary of running in under it. Oh, it's gonna cost him no link. Minute spike gets the anti aired. Chance? Yeah, get off me. Um, uh, I would have fully expected that one to clip him, but. Yeah, I like the decision there from Boom Q, but Unicorn is on one right now. Luckily, we still have our anti fireball tool up on Mini Maru. Win it right now for big damage. No anti air. Oh, that's gonna be it. No! Drops the link, but he gets another chance! There we go. Down a lot of bar again. Uh, and we saw how much damage Cam is putting on. Really depends on if Unicorn can push Boom Cube to the corner. Actually, both of these characters' the output goes way up. In the yeah. Corner two. Uh, both of them walking a lot. Both of them playing really respectful. Woo, the immediate two way match. No flash kick just yet. Yo! Good hop back. What a read. Oh, that's going to be enough for the stun and the kill. But now we have five bar Iori. It's a big hill for Boom Cube to climb. But I think, too, you know, Benny Maru could be really good at keeping you out. I mean, we saw this last time with Siwon. Siwon playing the Benny, and the Benny didn't end up working out for Siwon, but Boom Cube is a different beast. The 6B anti air. Alright, that's a huge lead right now that Boom Cube is gonna need. Yori does have five bars, you can't let him get started at all. Woo, what a far deep! Oh, no trip guard. Oh, that should be it, though. Uppercut. Wow. Big comeback from Boom Cube. Yeah, the Benny putting in the work. Is that a Benny OCV? I think so. It was a Benny OCV. Yeah. I think that's still my thing. When I think of Boom Cube, I think of the Benny Maru. He's True. showing us why. I think of the K-Dash, because he's the only one who uses that pink yeah. color. He has... He has priority of that color because he's the goat. Round one. <laughs> Ready? This guy's nice. 6B from Geese, 2C. God, these normals are so huge. Ooh. What is Kyo time? Guess. Cross? Yeah, roll Size out. just roll out. Fair enough. Now he has to work so hard to get back in. On his own terms, anyway. Well, he's, he's in. We're in. We are in. Big. Keep the I like corner. to save the corner. A lot of damage. Good whiff. 
punish. Well, yeah, with punish. I like that frame kill with the close D. What a 3D. Unfortunately, it's the uppercut. It could have been huge. The kill put up more of a fight in that one, and it did go up below 30 seconds, so the geese is not going to get the most amount of life back. Come out with about 500. See how this one goes. We didn't get to see much of this matchup last time. Oh! Got that last time, too. The Blackout. Punch. Still a fair enough jump scare. Uh, K-Dash puts a lot of mental pressure on you. You're not going to be able to react to everything. No punish. Does get the guard cancel roll at the right time, but you know, not being able to hit that punish could be consequential. Jump D with. Where are you going? Does not end on the uh, the counter hit jump D. There we go. Nice recognition on the counter hit. That guard bar was really scary there, so Boom Cube was so smart to keep up the pressure in the way that he did. Stand your ground. Ready? Go! I'm gonna say, let's see how this matchup goes this time. This is the first time we're seeing it. No punish. That 2C whip is really killing Boom Cube in these scenarios. Woo! Punish, there we go. Big stuff. Ah, ah, DP. So consistent one. on that Kara 6B. I know that's one of the more difficult things. To oh! No! His eye trigger ended up turning into DP, and that sucks. Not quite dead, of course. Where, yes, where are you going? What are you doing? Thank you for the game, sir. <laughs> He's just playing on another level. Oh, man. Yeah, Boom Coop, well positioned to take the win here. Uh, I mean, if K Dash doesn't win it, all you do is build some bar for Minimaru. Great punish. Oh, get the frame trap! This is big. And he's only gonna spin what a, one bar here? No, just LX for the half. Still comes out with almost 500 damage. This means next hit from the K dash does kill. Oh, not enough to kill. See. Great pressure from Unicorn, but is forced to back off. That was so so safe. Yo! No punish. Ah, uh, commits to the wreck of three. I feel like he tried to interrupt it, but maybe the option wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Now the Benny did so well against the Yuri last time. Yeah, and now you're playing at a significant meter lead. Uh oh. That's big. Drops, unfortunately. <laughs> Having to slow it down again, gets jumped in on, but no pickup from Boom Cube. No that could have been the round there. Yeah. He recognized the knee hit. That could have been a super cancel into death. That could have been super cancel too. But this, I mean, this is all too little, too late for Goonie yeah, Corn. Yeah. Yep. That was slash the Boom the Cube show there, yeah. yeah. That's what we expect to see from the GOAT himself, Goonie Corn. Going out at fifth place, not too bad. A really yeah. good showing this weekend. Maybe not the biggest tournament in the world, but we had a really strong player yeah. base here. Yeah. Ooh, it's not too bad for a KOF, uh, KOF bracket, you know, well. at, at, at our, our little max mode, first year of max mode. Woo but now we have Dino Tail versus AO It's Dave, our yeah. other losers match coming up. Winner of this will face off against Boop Cube and the loser semifinals. It's gonna be exciting one either way. Excited to see how this goes down, because Dave is a wild player, but I mean, what we saw from Dino Tail versus Chris G also has some wild traits. Indeed. So I'm excited to see how the DPs for uh, Dino Tail end up working out here. Been seeing, uh, or, or really when I think about KO 15, it is one of the more defensive KOFs, yeah. and especially when, I think in Georgia, we played a lot of 13. Yeah. This game is slow, but these two guys are going to accelerate the pace as much as they can. Uh, absolutely. This is uh, this is going to be a really funny matchup. The best part, these two are also roommates this weekend. Oh, word? Yeah. 
These Skull two are roommates this weekend, um, and they almost had a bracket pass where uh, Dave would have had to fight all three of his roommates in KOF, but it ended up not happening. <laughs> but now we get to fight Dino Tail here, and someone is sleeping on the floor tonight. Riding in the trunk on the way home. Yep. <laughs> Uh, doing a button check Come right on. now. We'll see how this goes when we get into it. I'm curious if Dino Tail's still gonna rep the real point. Uh, Cause I feel like that was a specifically a Chris G counter pick. Um, it's but something possible, but you know, the, the Rio really did look good. I love the Shikokin. I love the sweeps and the parries of course. We will see what it comes down to, but Sticking to the team that we've already seen before. No switch ups just yet. It's gonna be a really fun match and I'm excited to see how it goes so down. Cool. Oh yeah, the Ori point, we're putting the Rio right. in the back. That's what I thought. I thought, yeah, the Rio pick seemed like a Chris G counter pick, but the Ori point does make sense against the Orochi Chris. A little bit stronger uppercut, a little bit more reach. Uh, I think the, the jump B, fadeaway jump Bs, are probably going to come into play here. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the interactions are, because uh, you don't see point Iori that much anymore because of how much better Iori can be with meter. Um, so I'm excited to see how this goes down. Definitely going to have to see the, uh, the pace of the game here. Ayo, it's Dave, has no choice but to go in with the Orochi Chris. And then the Iori has the choice, either meet him in the offense or sit back. You know, the double tacos been a pretty popular option on all the Ioris today. Yeah. It's a really hard timing to come to grabs with, uh, to come to grass with to get maybe like a close C anti-air or trade. Because like you really need to like do it out of timing in which it will auto-correct to the other side. Woo! Too high for the combo. That's gonna be a big reward for Dino Tail. We're just about at the corner. He doesn't even want to go forward. <laughs> Ooh, get the slide out of the corner. Way out. <laughs> Just poking with the 3D, kind of strange. Dino Tail's game right now. The throw will kill. 2C not enough to kill. That wasn't even a punish. Gosh. Not even close to a punish, no, really. <laughs> he just did it. He just did it. That's the 2D goat right there. That's Dino Tail. He was mashing that button, that lunar bout, like it was going out of style. I'm telling you, it's really good in this game. Oh no, this is the Rekka. The life's gonna get, actually, Dino Tail's gonna take a life lead off of that punish. Yeah, but I mean, this is, this is the Chingo we're talking about. The Too crit, high the, the crit combo. lord himself. Nice, uppercut. This guy's crazy. Another uppercut one. Uppercut again. Bah! Wake up in the plus frames. Uh-oh. Also, shout out to that recent buff to Yori. The 6AA connects more consistently. Yeah, yep, there. Just, he needed 50 more damage on all of his combos. True, he did. Like that, the neutral zone. Ayo is saved, showing a lot of that just like run up and wait. Wow, just spends it all. Is this enough to kill? He's a pretty oh. short starter. Yeah. Dino! How about that? Damn it. Finally, takes a character in this set. Uh oh, he's gripping himself. All right, but is it too little, too late from a rock that has full meter? Are we gonna see the uh, new rock climax? Uh, Go yet. for it. But the next hit from Rock will kill. Yeah, had to do something to get out. That guard bar was looking pretty low. Drops a combo. Gets the reset, not too bad. Plus frames. Yeah, back dash. Yes, uppercut Raging Storm, just commit. Didn't want to get hit by the command grab, so the immediate 2A match. Nice, I love the party. It's such a good anti-hop normal. 
Uh-oh. They'll pick up on the counter hit. Had a chance to end the round right there, but we're just going to do it with the offense. Yeah, hit, hit him with a frame trap. 2B2A. Dino Tail looking very, very strong right now. Wants that run back against Chris G so bad. I'd say Dino Tail actually played a little bit slower than I thought he did that game. Well, I mean, it was the Iori point and not the Rio point. True, yeah. But more more defensively against that uh, Ochris kind of walled him out. Shoot, Iori, Iori got so much mileage that game. Yeah, he really did. And it's also, it, it's not like he needs to approach the Orochi Chris. Like, he needed to approach the Hyder and the Clint last time. So it's really not, the onus isn't on him to make anything happen. Uh oh, guard bar. But as long as we're in the corner like this, we're gonna get rewarded for the pressure. Un oh no, missing the link. Yeah, he wasn't ready. Bro. Ah. Uh, He's been passing on no those one. command grabs like crazy. Say, so, yeah, I think Dino Tail is, is like 50% success with command throws anyway, worth going for again. AO it's Dave, unfortunately giving the corner up. Yeah, the jumps from Dave are definitely interesting because he's, lo he's losing a lot of space in places where he could be making up more offense. But he's just kind of throwing himself in the corner with these full jumps. Nice throw. Oh, whips on the jump, Steve. Throw match to win. There's the command throw. Alex not to spit more bars, definitely not going to kill. And the EX uppercut coming out from Motris. To keep myself out and Dave taking the point matchup right now. What a nice. hit could Pick up on the Rapukin. Not quite enough to kill, but we're in a great spot just to chip out the hard edge. Yeah, wow, what a what a hit confirm right there from Dino Tail. And the O Chris is gone just like that. Shingo is here to play. Shingo with a lot of bar to play around with, too. First hit could be explosive. Far A, far C. I see, just trying to start a little bit of pressure. Dino Tail not showing any cracks just yet. Jumps all out of range for anybody's anti airs. The 2 C. Alright, no, no, no crit. crit. Get the OTG though. Yo, that far D is such a funny looking normal. He's been putting a lot of work here. Bro. God, he's reacted nice. to every single one of those. Yeah, I think AO and Steve is going to be forced to play on the ground. Oh, not punish. a big punish. Oh, never mind. He's gonna build the one. Oh. 2D mash. Oh, Yo. No. Both of them guessing on some anti hops there. Nice 2D. Dave still nickel and diving his way back into the round. Oh, man. This is full health or uh, uh, full bar Shune though. Yeah, and I mean the the. Rock does not have a lot of health because that went down to the last bracket of time. Oh, I don't have an anti air man. Yeah, it's been really, really good with it. Probably the best you've seen in top eight. Nice hit confirm again. No break on the uppercut. So no a bit of damage on that last one. But looking incredible this round. All the offense is working out. Oh, that could have been the game the ender. <laughs> Yo, raw max? I feel like you want a guard kit, so. Okay. That's We're nice. throwing. Didn't We're run throwing. into it. We're all well. throwing. Down a little bit of bar, but Shune is still in a great spot with two and a half. Of course, Dino Tail's Ryo is pretty incredible. Ao is saved with an uncharacteristically large amount of blockers to start that. Woo! There we go. Not a lot of damage, but excellent corner and push. You're dead. You are dead. All right. 
Dino Tail got those. The DP Goat Dino Tail taking it with another DP to immediate EX Rambo. Taking it 2 0 over Dave. The potential comeback was there, but the DPs are too strong. Pretty rough. So we're going to have Boom Cube against Dino Tail to look forward to here in a little bit. I think uh, we're going to head back to our winner's final yeah, match for here. we're going to versus Chris G. This is going to be a very slow-paced KOF match. I wouldn't be surprised if we go below 20 seconds in multiple Just of these rounds. Round, yeah. and this also is a first to three, so this is going to be a long endurance test. I'm, I'm curious to see how this yeah. goes down. I'm curious to the team that FKing picks, because I think his team is good. Especially the, the Chizuru and the Sylvie. Yeah. But I'm curious if he wants to play that team into a zoner heavy character and player like Chris G. Well, I think Chizuru is chilling with the Reflect, yeah. right? She's I, always I chilling. Anything wrong with I don't that. know if you want to pick Sylvie into the zoner matchup because you really need to be more on point with how you approach neutral. Because, like, she has a fireball, it's very slow. Not dissimilar to Iron Trigger, though, where it'll eat a hit and then yeah. send the fireball but out. But you need to so be really on point with that because yeah. it's really close to your body. We also saw Chris G throwing in some of the uh, the EX booms with Hydern. Yep. That really weird acceleration may throw off any timing like that. Um, and then Mason Kuhn, you know, has the fake ones, but also the EX one is blazing fast. Yep. So it's gonna be really interesting. We're seeing the Sylvie pick. Yeah, we're seeing all three picks. The Benny I do like. The Benny does have anti-zoning properties, and the Raijikin is a great point at which to stop fireballs. I'm curious to see how the Sylvie plays into this. I wouldn't be surprised if Christy takes game one if FK switches, switches the Sylvie out. I think that's a fair assumption, no doubt. Select order. In a, anyway, FK's roster is incredible. Yeah, it really is. But we're gonna see this Laffy Taffy Sylvie color again. All the Sylvies I've seen this weekend have not used her new re her new design. Everyone's using the old outfit. So listen, it's just the best. There is a vibe there, yeah. It's just the best. We're gonna see the hydrant it's back on point. In Into the uh, the going first, Benny Maru. It's about to be a party up in here. Interesting. We're gonna have to do some serious bar building before we get to really hit people for throwing fireballs. Yeah. But I feel like the Raijikin is a great starting point at which to stop fireball pressure. Obviously, like, he has Slash, and uh, he has great tools to snipe under fireballs. Like, his 2D is really good at hitting people from under fireball startup. Um, but this right Deacon is really where it's going to start. Oh. I wonder, too, if we're going to see some of the uh, the Just Defends come out when we have this corner matchups. You'll slightly win the meter game. There's a Just Defend right there. Here's G with the run up into big damage, though. Oh, stays no on cross. the safe side. This is enough to kill. No cross. No, it's in cross. In cross. <laughs> yeah, in cross. That's my goat. You better be watching. Laffy Taffy coming up to the stage. Never mind. Laffy Taffy getting smacked across the ring. Uh, there's Jesus. that two-part fireball. Really didn't work out that time. The one thing about Sylvie, she does have the second fastest dash in the game. So you can use that to push yourself in quicker against zoners. The only issue is that run in this case is pretty, uh, pretty bad. Yeah, Sylvie not looking too hot at the moment. She just kind of getting the play this game uncontested. But we did find a hit there. Sylvie damage is uh, nothing to laugh at. What? No! With not enough to kill, but I mean, you're in a chip out scenario. Yeah. yeah. Rough, rough round for Sylvie. This high turn, over 30 seconds, still going to be super healthy. Sitting on a bar, you know, his EX moves are so valuable. His one bar conversions are so good. Here comes the but, Chizuru OCV. Yeah, we have the, the F King character here. Yeah, the banana Chizuru. Really accelerating the pace with this Chizuru. I don't need to use the Reflect, I'm going in. Just tried to use the Reflect, ended up doing it way too early. Nice EX flash kick for Chris G. What an anti. <laughs> yep. That's the do my tactics anti air. 
No punish. Oh, and you're dead. Oh, that's it. That's a hider and OCD for Chris G in game number one. That's rough. FK laughing it off, though. You know, it's first to three. We got time. Did we just go back into it? He didn't so. switch. He didn't. Okay, oh, now. No. Are we switching out the Sylvie? Uh, that's a key. Oh! That's a nice. Ah! Back to the old me. We switched out the Sylvie and the Benny. Man, back to the old me, he says. Oh, we are here, baby. We like we said. final that max mode with the Nosh coming out. Like we said, uh, F Kang has such a deep roster. He could go just about anywhere in the character select, but this Nosh has become one of his, uh, his trademark characters. It's kind of like the only Nosh to play her in tournament. Yeah. Maybe not the hottest character, at least that's the opinion around the community, but when she gets her game going, she's got those safe jumps, and she's stylish anyway. Yeah. I just wonder how her neutral stacks up against zoners. I wonder what F Kang's approach to that is, because she's known as not having, you know, the hottest neutral, um, which, you know, Christy, known as having some of the hottest neutral in every single video game he plays. Those for the low. But the Kyo Kusanagi. Yes, Kyo with the bodega. Uh, yeah, not able to make that gapless these days. So the flash kick will work. Nice tech. So many bodegas. Minus eight now, unfortunately, but maybe that's fair. F King still right on so many of these Rekkas. Yeah, he's just pushing Christie all the way to the corner. Still down in life. Christie's been fighting out of the corner really well. Yo, the 2C, 2C match. No confirmed. He's a fuzzy matcher. That 2C clip, bruh. Move is huge. Yo, run up Stormbringer. This guy's crazy. The zoning <laughs> isn't working out. I'm going in. No, just jumped on the flash kick. There's a flash kick. Guess. Uh oh. Oh, records. Yo, he made it in. Oh, no. The run up DP, not enough. Got, F Kang trying. He got a lot out of that round, though. Yeah, he did. He did. He did good. Meter's going to be even on the way in. He did, he did. still very little health. All right, there she is. The woman of the hour. Dale, Mardi. Somehow finds her way out. FK kind of slick. Big jump CD. Yes, the neutral jumps. Finally not getting clipped by, by a 2C. Yeah, by a 2C, the large boy. Large and in charge. The Benton Clint coming out. Yo, the drop kick to start the round. This is huge. Yep, give me that. Two levels of drop kick now in hand. Yep. Next, next hit will kill. For a two bars to start the round, taking 60% isn't too bad. F King in a great position. Although Amazing Coon with a lot of bar, good punish on the feint. People have been reacting to the feint really well today. Oh! Yeah, people are tired of fighting this character. They just lapped all the interactions. Kill! There it is. Pick up on the counter hit jump CD. Takes the round. Yeah, wow. The Naj putting in crazy amounts of work right now. Christine not knowing the matchup. Dash back. Oh, chase down on the guard cancel roll. Unfortunately, gets an air hit. He's going to suffer a lot right there. Oh, wow. Commits to it. Yeah. Commits, got the big damage, and pushed all the way to the corner. And go. Oh. Christy might regret not spending more bar on that, yeah. that last touch. I think so, too. Good thing, though, is if he gets a read on, like, a hop or something, we could see the climax. Upper touch to the opposite. Never mind. Speaking of getting a read on a hop. Never mind. Yeah, nice reaction to the air dash. Air to air with the super. FK taking game number two. So about that character swap. I mean, I was right for half of it. Yeah.
I didn't expect the Benny to go. I thought the Benny would have been perfect, but I was not expecting the Naj pick. Maybe there was some just like weird idea with the the team positioning in the, in the first team. But you know, I, I still like Kyo. Uh, he got nerfed, but I'm loving what this character's up to. I'm loving what F King is showing with him. Yeah. Alright, throw uh, into the corner. Yeah, Chris G does not bite on the Rekka there. Woo! Nice roll. Chris G tried to go for the late cross up into the the close D low. Nice job of FK to roll out of that, and now we're back to neutral. FK hitting these just the thin. He's gonna slightly edge out on the, uh, the meter war. All oh, hits from behind. Now, Chris G in control of the neutral in this round. Yo, rolling the throw. Another flash yes, kick. Flash kick. <laughs> the zoning actually working out for Chris G this time. Yeah. No, a little bit late. Yeah. He's playing a more aggressive style of zoning. Yeah. Really jumping forward with those JCDs, using the 2Ds, and then jumping back in the fireball set. He's clipping gotta, a lot of F-Kang's offense. Gotta go out so I can go in and go in so I can get back out. Yep. Uh, as, as FF14 players say, we're going forward and back. <laughs> and forward and back. <laughs> Naj with a great start here. Get a stack on the drop kick. Good safe jump as well. Does not do the cross up version, naturally. Keep the corner. But got oh. Chris G fighting out of the corner so well, just like he was last round, or last game. Oh, drops on the counter hit. That is one of the things, talking with the pavilion players, uh, the value out of the jump CD counter hit pickups. They, they're saying that a lot of Americans should do it. At least Yo! Wow. Way to capitalize on the, uh, well, good block on the cross up, of course, and then capitalize on the super cancel. Yeah. That was gonna take amazing. the round there. Good stuff there. Still kept it above 30 seconds. So the health return is going to be plentiful. Good blocks. Just chill out. That was crazy. I like what we were trying there. A little too slow on uh, thinking he's going to do the Rekka. Nice. I forgot that Finally he gets to use the fireball eat. Oh, drops the command grab though. Uh oh. From behind. That feels bad. Dead well, it's back to the tried and true, the Cheezeroo. Yeah, but I mean, hey, we took a we took the first character down, so we only have two to go. I think once you get through the Met and Kun, it's a whole lot easier. Good punish. Picking up on those those weird misses and stuff, really important sign of F King's awareness. That two C hit so far away. Have that back. Good confirm. Yo, this guy is crazy. The one hit confirmed from the far D. No flash kick available yet. And now it's back. Chip out potential. Oh no. Oh, that could have been huge. Have that back. No anti air. Oh no. Oh, nice fake on the DP there, though. Uh, <laughs> that is that. That was a very manly two A there. That 5 CD a from Maiden Kuhn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Yashiro with a whole lot of bar, but Chizuru really only needs a bar and a half. And then he puts you in jail time. Wee wee wee, the police are coming. Not biting on the record. His 2D placements as trip guards to, to catch jumps is so good. The 2C. Oh my god, that's a so big. much damage. Oh, he's gonna go the two yeah, into the gonna climax. Go to climax. Not gonna be enough to kill, but it's basically gonna put her below 200 HP. 150 left, but a three bar Chizuru is now coming your way. Guard bar consideration, but Chris G gonna back off. Here comes new Daredevil. Yeah, force F King to come in on him. He can't get clipped by anything right now. Neither player can get clipped by anything. 
Good blocks. I like I like him not trying to go for the two C's there because in this situation you really don't want to trade. We are getting down to danger time here for F King. He's gonna have to make something happen. No punish. Nice, gets a far D again. <laughs> Oh, oh, the Farsi. Yeah. Still an incredible button and a great confirm. Yeah. He knew that F Kang was getting a little bit more impatient there to try to get in and secure the hit. That's why we saw all those EX clones, but Chris G stayed solid right up until the end. And, and you know, Chris G up to yeah, up one to right one. now. A potential big upset is coming our way. Round one. Ready? Go. <laughs> Curious to see, because we've had like two very distinct styles from this hider over the course of this set. I think we're gonna see the one that kills. <laughs> the violence. Nice cross cut! Nice. Again with the flash kick for the second hit of Low Rekka. Good anti here. If they do everything they can to keep this, this hider in the corner. The ex a whiff. And now Chris G has so much space behind him to play with. Get in so we can get back out again. Yo, the run through. And again, the flash kick on the low Rekka. Guard bar, a serious consideration. Guard uh -oh. catches out, trying to get some more mileage out of this PO, but gonna lose it there. That feels feels awful there. Yeah, it does. And Chris G taking the first character of what could be the end of this set. Round two. Ready? Go! Round star shatter strike. Oh, just a big clean jump in. Not exactly the combo you want to do there, I'm sure. Nice, he got close Z off of that. Alright, we got one level of drop kick. He's the drop kick, stays extra safe off block there. Wow, the OC run up. Christy not biting on anything. Finds the sweep there, finally, but still have a lot of ground to make up. Oh, wow. If we kill this hider, it might be rough. The Anti -air. Air is too strong. Not invincible, my friend. We're in bad shape. Chris G potentially taking a fifth tournament here. It really is on F Kang. She's rude to not make this happen. Yeah, F Kang got a count on his girl. Nice 2D. Pretty good position to take this round. Nice punish. Nice chill out. Good patience is the real thing. Alright. Even the situation here. You're gonna try to get out of this round with as much life as you can. Nice DP. Nice. Good confirm. Good damage. And we're just gonna keep this corner as hard as we can. No hops. We're just gonna come into the ground. What a confirm. Oh no. Oh, but, but he gets the clone instead. Nice! The pressure from Cheezer right now is putting in numbers! Good. Anti air! Yo, the Rekka. The bust out wow. with the dash punch. And then just finds him on the other side of the screen with the X clone. Alright, gonna have like 75% life going into this. Chris G is going to have a good chunk of meter on this Yashiro. Trade, but we can only trade so often. Yeah. We will lose the damage race eventually. What a Big. hit confirmed! 
straight into the climax? No. no. You gotta get Go level one. one. Okay. Yeah. Next hit will kill. That's Finds the punish on the roll. Not enough. No EX for the DP, but this could be anything. A 2D is great here. A clone is scary. great here. But you see Chris G possibly just buffering Climax to blow up the clone. The defense from F Kang, the patience from F Kang! The Chizuru comeback! Five! F Kang is all smiles, bro! Maybe a little bit of pain behind there. That He had to re dig real deep for that yeah. one. Woo! We're going back to the character select. Are we switching out the Mankun? No way. Hovering Shermie there for a second. Probably just on his way to something else. No out. way! Yo, the Andy! Andy. Andy Bogardian himself. What the? I mean, I think he played. I think he played higher so Metcut Andy it. before, so I don't think this is actually too surprising. <laughs> but oh man, oh man, a game five scenario. No Metcut on the table for this last game. This is where it all counts. It all matters. The the big character switches over the course of the set. Pretty, pretty interesting to see. I'm Obviously, you're going to the game five in a high stress situation. You don't want to lose here. That's so many more games you have to yeah, play. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Round we have to one. see how this Ready? Andy ends up bearing. What the? I feel like that was DP. I think he got just like a far C instead of the uppercut. Oh, no, the bodega a little too early. Committing to wreck a three. Let's go. He doesn't know. The frame traps. Oh man, tries again to anti air the JCD. Pop JCD the goat. Oh, baits it out that time. Good punish, making the most of what he could. Good anti air. Oh, gets the jump. This is big. He built the bar for the one. This is enough to kill, maybe? Oh, not so quite. Close. Not quite. One touch, but Christie's Hyder, well, I was about to say, is clutch, but finally goes down there. We're seeing F King take the first character. Versus Andy, this is new ground. Yeah, this is new ground. The new pair of pants. That's a lot of damage. Oh, wow. Okay, gets the reset into the 2B. But we are in an equal, equal game. Indeed, uh, just about the same exact meter. Naj coming in fresh. Fresh into a new matchup. Not as many flash picks you have to deal with. So maybe we can beat Jumpman a little bit. Building that meter. Yeah, Andy's uppercut definitely on the slower side. Yeah, it also has a lot of uh, horizontal movement to it. What the? Block. A lot of damage. Big combo. So dangerous, getting stuck in the corner here. Just about 200 health. Cannot afford trades, can't afford to get hit, no nothing. Again, with the jump back air to air, that's how we got him every time. It's all back on Chizuru. All right, four and a half bars for the Chizuru. Run up to me. Just stuck in the corner, man. This is so uncomfortable. On the other hand, Christie's offense, awesome. Doing more of that get in to get out stuff. Nice to see. Anti-air unfortunately gives up the corner. Christie with a lot of space behind him. Guard bar again is serious concern. But the five CD footsies. Oh, that's a lot of damage again. Going for the two? No. Next hit definitely kills. Two C trade. We can't afford many more of those. A little bit of pressure. Reflect run up behind Ooh, it. Oh, the deep dash. Is Our fireball. No punish. 
the Andy pick may be working out for Chris G. Oh. See, he has slowed the game to a crawl. It seems more like his style. No punish. Oh, but that should be That's enough! enough. <sighs> F-King and losers. We'll see him again before long. Chris G is going to take a little break. Oh, sit in the winner's man. side of Grand. F-King is all laughs. But now, now we see the trump card. Now, now we have the trump card in the back of our head. Indeed. So there is a potential that um, I'm really interested to see if in the next set, because he couldn't switch this time, if we potentially take out the Naj and put in Joe. I'm really interested to see if that's what his counterplay will be, depending on if, if he makes it back to Grand Finals. Yes. Uh, if, if it comes down to the Andy again. You wonder too that Joe fits in so many different slots for him. Yeah. I mean, I remember Point Joe back in the day. That was pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> that that character does so much with half a bar. Yeah. Goodness. It's it's crazy. Um, and I mean, they 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 just buffed him. I mean, obviously, like they nerfed all the fireballs yeah, back again, in the day, but, but yeah. like they buffed him a couple of times, so his moves have different uses. So he's not entirely out of it just yet. But I'm really interested to see if that's what his decision will be if push comes to shove in a potential run back in Grand Finals. Yeah. He does have the weight through this game, though. We're back to Boom Cube versus Dino Tail. Yeah, we do have our losers semis match. This is going to be one hell of a match, and the winner of this will see F. Kang in losers finals. Two of the more aggressive players again. Uh, I assume that we're going to see the point Kyo again for, for yeah. Boom Cube. Which makes you consider again, we've seen two different uh, team orders on Dino Tail's side. Wonder which matchup he's going to shoot for first. Given the Ori in place. Yep. yep. Start off with a rival theme. I'm down. <laughs> oh man, the subway tracks yet again. They must just not like seeing. They don't like anything. Nothing will stop this show. They're probably thinking about prosciutto. <laughs> All right, losers semi-finals. Loser does get fourth, but here we are, game number one: Boom Cube versus Dino Tail. Let's see who has it to fight F Kang in losers finals. Say, there's there's a lot of games ahead. Ready? <laughs> Unfortunately, Kyo's Rekka not not quite as good at confirming on the air counter hits. I love that. I'm minus on my Rekka. I'm still swinging. A great corner position now for Dino Tail. Oh man. Oh! Base out the DP. Boop Cube is on a tear right now. Woo oh man. This is so scary for Dino Tail right now, but gets a close seat. That's big. That's a start. Cross, but gets air hit, so he's a little bit safer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Spins the EX. Gonna put him at 50. What a wake-up <laughs> option. Man's a thinking cheeky. I respect it. 90% of the time, they are gonna run behind that light fireball. Bam. Alright, Yori not with much life left though. One thing will kill and another yep. blackout into blackout. throw. See a pressure, slight minus. Alright, hits the claw. Yeah, the claw does have the anti fireball properties, just jump over him, but. Alright, we've played enough. Here. We are in an even scenario, a little bit more meter on the K dash side. Okay, never mind. Look how it gets faded. This is big. Actually, elects not to spend the extra half. Doesn't matter, he's still in an excellent position. Woo, what a reset! Baby pickup, but get a little rewarded. Boom keep gonna fight his way out of the corner. Oh, not invincible. Oh, but you're dead! Dead character. That's that's a rough one. Back to full health, uh rock. Only he's gonna have half a bar, but this character makes magic happen with so little. Yeah, he really does. 
<laughs> Good pickup. Jump CD. What the? It gets over the slice. What in the world? Oh man, another bar spent. Not enough to kill. Spent all of his bar on it. We want the Rio. Oh, we gotta in go. Here. It's go time. Down to the last character. Rio coming in with two, or with almost three. This character hurts. His God, it's, it's like these characters are good and spin meter efficiently. That's yeah, crazy. It's true. That's crazy. Dial. Boom Cube cannot afford to get hit by anything big. Cross up, too high, recognize it's probably minus. Let's throw it. Good two. We got the quick max out. Oh, made him with the 2C. Okay. Back to a neutral scenario. Even health. I'll say we're even just meter. about dead even here, yeah. yeah. Oh, what a trade! Boom cube with a slight lead! Good jump with in! Jump but it gets easy. that <laughs> the forbidden command normal. Oh no. Okay. We're so even. Slightly more bar on title tail side. Run up throw. One more throw will kill. But also an uppercut and a super will kill. We're back to a chip situation and the trade on the close A. Yeah, on the stand oh, man. jab. Holy hell, going down to the wire. Couldn't have been closer if they wanted to. A yeah. little, little bit of spaghetti there. But again, high stress situation. Trying to make their way back to the to the to Grands. We don't need spaghetti. We only need victory. There is no victory in spaghetti, only carbs. <laughs> As a person who drinks or eats too much pasta, I know how it is. Game Worth noting two. Too. We're cutting out all the fat. All the spaghetti is gone. Reset. Got the Rolls roll. out and gets the punish. Jump C too high. No confirm. Gets the low. He's gotten so much mileage out of low record. It's crazy. Oh, but the close C from Dino Tail. Looking to even it up. Nice whip punish. What a confirm. Take me there to the corner. No punish. Didn't get to come down with the JB, J2C. And now it is Dino Tail's turn. That is huge. So efficient. Oh, tried nice. the back dash. No pickup, though. Boomkey's going to have one more shot and does not get there. Running in from deep to get the 2B, 2A confirm. Great stuff there to Dino Tail. Still taking it over the Keo after Boot Cube was off to a, such a fast start. Uh, not rewarded for it that time, but he's doing the 3 black out throw. Cross up, DP in the super. I love the 2A challenge. Oh, I love nice, chat. that's the end of the round. Probably didn't need to spend the other half a bar there. I think DP would have just done the job well enough, but we are out of it and back into an even health scenario, but Rock was so much meter ahead. Crack counter. Alex not to spin. Trying to bait that DP. Donald Tail, the goat of DPs. Good 2C. Rock 2C is so fast. Boom Cube struggling to fight out of the corner. Does have to go for the, the guard cancel. Oh no. No 2C that time. He gets hit. Just a lot of damage coming out of Dino Tail's side. Plus frame? Plus frame. Yeah, back dash. Not in time to get the up kick. Big. Roll and hits the punish that time. Oh. No EX. Yo gets caught by the him, overhead. the overhead. No super. No 2C. Ah, uh, I love the idea, though. Yeah. I love the idea. That was really close. And I mean, hey, that wasn't the worst round for Boom Cube. Rock only with about 400 AP. And Benny, Benny Mara Miracle Maker. Okay, walk off to a big lead. Cool. Two bars, got it from the whiff slash. So much danger here. Also, yeah, Rock coming up on one bar. A jump CD could spell the end of the round. Nice uppercut. 
don't want to take any more of that. Ooh, spends it on guard cancel roll. Nice. Good uppercut. Wake up throw. Vinny back to two bars. Any stray hit could take the round. Let's see him fishing with the D, but Dino Tail also trying to close it out. Oh. Oh, tries to go for an instant overhead. I think to to beat the throw tech oh, yeah. attempt. This is so scary. Anything from either character. Nice, just finds the C. Yeah, the JC, but the Rio coming in with two bars, and Benny living with a couple bandages. Ready? This is such a hard comeback to make. Never mind. Good confirm. He's insane with it. The whip on it. Yo! Boom in a great position to take the round. One more mix. One touch on both sides. Oh! The, the forbidden! The overhead. overhead! To the super! We are going to a game three! Ralph is laughing because <laughs> Once he again, knows. smiling through the pain. Yeah. I, I see that boom cube over there. Exactly. That's all pain. There is no gain in that. It is all pain. Full of back and forth in that one. That, that, was, that was an exciting game. <laughs> yeah, it really was. <laughs> Patrick bumping Dino Tail on the side there. Okay, it all comes down to this. The last game for one of these two tournament life. Let's see who wants it more. These load times are killing me, man. Yeah. I need the game the right black now. The of death. This is KOF, baby. I need baby. to see the game. <laughs> oh. we, we, need a, we need the time of KOF top eight for how much of it is loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my it's like 30 second loading screen between matches. IL run. You can't account for loading screens. Dino Tail off to a great start here. Got him in the corner. Boom Cube gonna show enough presence just to get himself back out toward mid screen. Nice 2C again. We're dancing around, a lot of whiffs. Boom Cube showing that he is not scared of going for Rekka's 2 and 3. I don't think anyone has pressed after Rekka 1 in quite some time. Yeah. The oh far no. C hopped over. Is that enough to kill? So close. Oh, rolls through the 2D, but it doesn't nice. end up There we go. Now it. we press after the Rekka. Down her tail off to a great start. Also, oh, saw that unfortunate change to the far C. Can't whiff, cancel it anymore. I think that that was the, de the decider in that round. Oh. Hey, yo. No advancing strike, but shatter strike. Does a lot of guard damage. I, I think it was an okay call. Unfortunately, you know, not able to run any more pressure afterward. Dino Tail fighting his way. Uppercut with heart. No, the scum, Gale. Dino Tail running away with the set right now. Again, another scum, Gale. No bar for the big damage, but we have so much momentum right now. Uh oh. Just keep him out. The far beams, the far beams. Oh no. Uh oh. Dino Tail running away with it. A potential Iori OCV. Iori OCV to make his way to losers' finals. Ready? Maru, the miracle maker, though. No trip guard. That's a big start. Oh no, that's an even bigger start. Finds the EX Firework. Yes. Hey. Cross is blocked. Uppercut, and that's the round. Cross up gets blocked to the GOAT. Somehow. He himself into losers' finals. Somehow felt unsatisfying. But <laughs> Dino Tail, Dino Tail earned that one. Yeah, with the Iori oh. OCV, here's a loser semifinals to fight for his life against F. Kang in losers' finals as uh, Ralph leaves to go find water or find a bathroom. Where? I don't know. I can. I can understand stressing after that one. I, I think that's the water station. Nope, he left. Oh no. <laughs> All right.
Oh, no, he's right there. I confused someone else for him. He got the same build, bro. They got the same back of the head. Listen, bro, he don't have a... He needs that, he needs that better haircut. He needs to let his hair go like Benny Maru. I see, I see. <laughs> Speaking of hair, F King's hair this weekend. Looking Listen, good. He got, he got that curly, that curly fro. It's, <laughs> it's amazing to see. All right. All right. Take a little break before we get to these long sets, the uh, the Hardy sets. Yeah, we have the Jazzy Circuit Season 5. Of course, the Jazzy Circuit was here this weekend for some third strike. Man, and a whole bunch of points to go to first place. Heck yeah. Guys, be sure to check out Momocon. Uh, they're, they're big sponsors, big friends of Data FGC over here. You'll notice that big old Super Smash Bros. Ultimate prize pot. Some of the standard fair fighting games, but I really like the Mario Kart and Splatoon. Yeah, I was going to say the Splatoon If you haven't three. played Splatoon, game is really tight. I, I definitely <laughs> encourage you to pick it up. The Splatoon 3 tournament is going to go crazy. Let's play Mario Kart 8 on Bluetooth in a room with electronics so <laughs> none of our drifts come out. I love me some Mario Kart. Don't know if y'all got a chance to tune in earlier, but we did that at the cosplay contest. A couple participants over here had some awesome work. Be sure to check out the VOD. I'm sure we'll get that uploaded before long. Yeah. Thank you to Momocon for supporting that. Thank you to Momocon for all the support that they gave this weekend to Max Mode and to the Data FGC fam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. On to Losers Finals. Crowd's real excited. We have Big Bates out here doing our room commentary. Oh, yeah. Doing it for the people. But now we have our Losers Finals. First to three. FK looking to take the run back against Chris G and Dino Tail <laughs> also looking to take the run back against Chris G. Both of these players in loser side. Are we going straight to the Nas? That no. man over there wearing two sets of headphones when he so plays video cool. games. <laughs> back to the uh, to the Sylvie Benny. Okay. We are committed to it. Again to the subway tracks. I swear to God. At least we're getting a music change. Uh oh, what do we got this time? I can't read. Bloody. Oh, bloody. Okay, good. The only person that can hear it is F Kang. I am okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will stop this show. All right, game number one of your losers finals here for KOF 15 at Max Mode 2024. Sticking with that pointy Ori, been working out excellently. Yeah. You know, Mr. Mr. KOF. Mr. KOF through the long haul, through the many, many years, might as well be in his round 60s, yet he doesn't look a day above 30. <laughs> kind of slow start, all things considered, until the big run up. I'm just gonna stop saying anything like that, I guess. <laughs> the commentator's curse, baby. Dino Tail fighting out of the corner really well. We can stay in the corner, though. That'd be cool. What FK is thinking. Woo! Uppercut. Good punish. Oh, but gets wow, the JB in right. front. There's the taco, and that's the round. The Dino Tail momentum right now. That thing must have crouched for just like a frame. I don't think that Yori typically hops over standing characters in this he game. He really doesn't. It all it takes is one frame of the collision box to avoid. And the Sylvie back into play, Laffy Taffy. Good oh. jump in, big damage. <laughs> this Sylvie character hurts. Yes, she does. Basically 600 damage in your mouth. Keep the pressure up. Pull the 2D. Oh, caught the 2C maybe? No punish. Still, just like a, a really slow offense from Sylvie here. Yeah, doesn't want to overcommit. Probably scared of those potential run out DPs. Yeah, Dino Tail's uppercuts have been hit. Nice 2D though. Yori has also done his job. Alright. Mash 2C. Okay. Yori building almost an entire extra bar uh, after when things got rough. And Rock, super explosive, explosive, as we all know. Round star, Blanca ball. Air hit, goes for oh, the mix-up instead, same said. side. This is huge. Yeah, that is a great combo there. Nice wrecking that plus frames. Plus frames. Once again. Oh, jumped, jumped over the over shatter. The shatter. What the hell? 
Command throw. Not going to be a lot of damage, but we're well out of the corner. Where are you going? Nice. The footsies right now from Epang are immaculate. Oh, but Dino Tail found a way in. Never mind. Still mid screen. It went chilling. Run up uppercut. That. Yeah. It, it just caught the jump. He was just slightly above the ground. Great stuff there from Epang and the Sylvie putting in work. Bam! Round start in your face. Air to air, no real pickup, but we're getting so much ground off of that. Nice, JB. Oh, but drops it. Yep, yep. Carry it yep. up, build some bar. If Sylvie's gonna play slow, we gotta play slow as well. Nice, gonna get the safe jump. Get sniped by it. You can't be taking damage like that with the time running down the way it is. Very, yeah. Getting all this bar, but we have to find an opportunity. Another, that's another tag on. Nickel and Diamond is FKing right now. The JC not fully deep enough. Oh, but that should be it. That should be it, yep. Level one. Oh, block ball Yeah, block yeah. ball into level one. With room the, to spare. The Sylvie Paula. Paula, the queen herself, putting in work. FK taking game number one. I see our local D-Wing over there cheesing. He, I he would likes be that too. Sylvie. She's my favorite character. <laughs> I play her too. I'm so glad that, you know, she got some representation, especially, you know, top six seed at SWC. We take that, we take that, but now right here in top three at max mode. Sylvie showing why she deserves to sit in the echelon of the top tiers. Speaking of top tiers, Benny and Iori. So Benny taking that corner control. F Kang with the DP. AF Kang with the contained style, but Dino Tail eventually does find his way out. We all know that Iori damage, he can even things up really quickly. F Kang with the guilty gear. <laughs> with the guilty gear. <laughs> but he is like in such control right now, slowing down the neutral game. Making sure Dino Tail does not get to play the way he Good wants. Good confirm, that's, that's the round. Perfect stuff there. All the Benny players super consistent at confirming the 5D yeah, absolutely. the party rate. You have so much time in the world, bro. That thing is in hit stun for like 10 years. Tell you what, in a stressful situation, though. Nah, they're the goats. Listen, you can't be having hair like that and dropping your party Good pick up. Yeah, I mean, that EX for Pukin is pressure. It's safe and it's so rewarding if it yeah. just happens to connect. Ooh, what a catch on the jump over. Nice. Shatter striking myself out of this. Ah, uh, gets 2D, not the uppercut. Yeah, neutral jump, JCD, Dino Tail taking care of the Benny Maru here in game two. But this is the menace. Laffy Taffy getting stuck in your teeth, getting stuck in your gum, and sticking it to your health bar. No uppercut. I will say still, uh, uh -oh. oh man. Safe jump. So much carry. Oh, just immediate backed away after the EX fireball there. No, far D and here at the hop. Jump CD. Got hit in neutral there. No counter hit, no nothing. Yeah, if Kang knows he can slow it down. Well, maybe slow it down too much. Uppercut. Uh -oh. It's a dead Sylvie. Yes, it is. The Sylvie. Oh, oh no, just a lighthearted. Okay. And then chip out with another one. Okay. All right, but the Chizuru coming in with almost four bars and the Rock with not a lot of health to spare. Ready, go. This slide, we'll go slow. Works for me. Yeah, 
Yeah, FK slowing this to, to a crawl right now. Literally anything will kill. Oh, nice oh, reflag wow. to anti-air. All right. F Kang definitely has Dino Tail stressed out. Over the course of the last couple sets, we saw Dino Tail with so many uppercuts on the jump fireballs and stuff, and he just hasn't found the confidence to uppercut. This yeah, well, F Kang has been playing at that range where it's really hard to commit to a GP or not. Yeah. Because there could be a chance the GP hits, but it hits at such a distance that F Kang will recover in time and actually punish the recovery. Yeah, falling out of rocks uppercut. Definitely yeah. a weakness I hadn't considered. Yeah, he's playing at a great distance and slowing down the pace so that Dino Tail really can't get a read on Love when and pressure. where he wants to play that high risk play style. Ryo with the guard damage. Has guard cancel out, just knocks the freeze damage. Guard right. cancel again, but we still have three bars. We're chilling. Yeah, but that's still going down. Dino Tail, so scary. All right, we're out of guard break damage. Still has three bars to spare. Good sweep. Yeah, I think in the range game, at least in terms of speed, Shizuru is gonna win. Oh, but the shatter Another strike. shatter on wake up. Are you dead? Oh, no, but it no is shot, no level shot. two. The level of, two I think would've killed. A lot of scaling on that shatter. FK uh -oh. spacing these slides so well. Dino Tail has a direct challenge. There we go, the quick max. The far D to quick max. Dino Tail was ready for it. On the game three, evening it up. FK speaking to the voices in his head, telling him to DP, telling him to, to go faster, be stronger, commit harder. All right, game yeah. number three uh, here in Losers Finals. Round one, ready, go! Taking it slow once again. I really like that, just a simple jump D, 2D knockdown. It's gonna give him such great corner position. But again, Dino Tail fighting his way out. Ooh, wow, yeah, the run up on Dino Tail there. Ooh, finally finds CD. the JC to go over the 2B. No anti air for you this time, FK. Frame chat doesn't work out. Trades. Ooh, but the 4A there. Perfect stuff. Save. Nice 2C. Dino Tail finally clawing back in this point matchup. Benny no longer running like a train. Speaking of trains, there's one in the back. <laughs> Trade again. Dino Tail with the tiniest lead. Nice uppercut. The biggest of leads. Oh, but he drops it. Not going to the wreck up for Chip either. Oh. Okay. The fireball so slow, Benny's roll so slow. Everything working out for Dino Tail, taking the lead there. Really close match. Sylvia doesn't have to do too much here. So it's really on Dino Tail to try and extend the lead, or he's dead. Yep, he's just dead, just like that. Sylvie takes it without too much trouble, and we are even here in the battery matchup. Rock up a bar. As we all know, he can do a lot with it, but Sylvie's no slouch yourself. Oh, nice 2C to get out of here. Plus frames. Oh, but the jump the actually avoided the fireball. All right, Dino Tail back into his element, anti-airing like a god. Slow push to the corner, but Uppercut Super is going to do a lot. Doesn't spend the level two there. Nice, nice run up throw. throw. Perfect stuff. I think Dino Tail might be a little hyper focused on the air approach. Yeah, Until works. right then. So scared. Oh! Big punish. That's where it comes to eat him. Only gonna need one, one bar. Yeah. 
Sylvie damage coming in clutch. Eptang taking the lead. Finally finding Dino Tail. Too impatient to just hold it. Eptang, Sylvie, take him to a good situation once again. Are we gonna spend two here? Yes, we are. Enough to kill. Enough to kill. May the best anchor win. Well, yeah. here we go again. May the best anchor win. Thank you, Xander Mobis. We appreciate it. Three and a half bars on the Cheeseru, two on the Rio. Meter on meter action. Both characters very adept at spending meter. Oh, speaking nice, of spending quick max. Meter, you're gonna get jailed and climax. He's gonna put him basically around 200 HP. Still a hundred bar on the side of Say Uppercut too. still not available. We're there back we now. We're back. No anti-air. Yeah, wow. This is a chance. Never mind. All the right. immediate 2A punish on the Koken. F Kang taking it 2-1 up over Dino Tail right now. This is a great start for F Kang for the potential run back. But Dino Tail also wants that run back against Chris G. Now needs to fight an uphill battle. Whatever decisions he makes here, he will have to stick with for the rest of the set. Good jump in. Start with a quick 200. Nice, nice anti-air from Dino Tail. He's pretty on point. Faded the DP so hard he couldn't get the punish. Very slow, slow again. Right nice. The Ido kick, super easy confirm. Yeah, immediate hit confirm on the first hit and gets the JP in. That's a lot of damage. Dude. Not gonna spin anything. Playing right Jump in that in. perfect mid range game. Just a hardy space trap. Yeah. FK playing that spacing so well. Doesn't give Dino Tail an opportunity to DP out and really needs to make Yori commit to a potential dash there to get anything started. Such a huge lead for FK. God, that one bar spin from, from Bidi Maru is so valuable. Yeah. And the lead extends ever higher for FK. Rock now below half health. And going Super even bad. lower. Goes in another one. What a way to punish. Yo! Yes. Mistakes and the miracles. Okay. Far, see, just get duffed. Yeah, exactly. Just get duffed. Just straight in the mouth. F Gang, position to take it. One character away. A Rio with four bars and the potential Benny OCB on the table. Oh, the C match. Danger. Oh, I got one to confirm. Are you Lagia? This is huge. Did we get the full corner combo here too? No, we're too far. We're too far. Yo! Too high. FK's oh, trying to be in the corner, but we're so up. Oh man, we're so we're bad! We're so okay with that. With he that. might be Lagia! Say, <laughs> Bidimaru did his work, now we're back to Sylvie. Sylvie's been all but carrying. Dino Tail, still huge mountain to climb. Sylvie doing the taxes right now. Laffy Taffy, Willy Wonka, and the Timothy Chalamet factory. Putting in work. Uh oh. Big punish. That's so much damage. Yeah, he has three? Oh, but he doesn't oh, send it. But it all takes is one hit, one shatter strike. And that is the not going to be it. Not quite yet. Guess the OTG, guess for game. Command grab is real scary here. We have one bar. Take one slow. bar. Super slow. <laughs> oh, no punish that time. No DP. Gets the jump in. 
Oh, the There's two leaf punish, but time. not gonna convert. Oh my god! Sit in front of his face with the crouch. Nice tech. Oh, run up uppercut. The KOF special in FK taking it 3-1 over Dino Tail to find that man, Chris G, back in the grand finals. Time for the run back. Dino Tail taking third place here at Maximo 2024. Not no. too shabby of a performance. Definitely had a great path to get here. Yeah, you know, always vying for first, but Dino Tail came out, great show. Uh, I love his character selection because I yeah. like the pro tag boys. Well, he was Lagia for a whole two rounds. That he Rio was, was crazy. He man. was channeling his inner Lagia, but F Kang is not Zhao Hai or M Dash. And F Kang is now in grand finals. I hope that y'all caught last weekend. It was it was an incredible tournament. It was an amazing tournament. There was so much good play to be seen. You can watch that after you watch the grand finals of KOF 15 here at Max yeah. Mode. Time to get started. F Kang coming in from the loser side. Christy on the winner side. A run back of winner's finals where Christy narrowly took it 3-2 over F Kang. And now we see where the character choices come to fruition and how the counter picks work out. Yeah, are we gonna see this uh, this Naj round start, the Kyo round start, or are we going back to the Sylvie? The show! Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> We're back, baby! Keeping the Sylvie in too. Okay. I mean, after the last yeah. game or the last I, set, I, I have a lot of belief yeah, in the yeah, Sylvie. Yeah. yeah. The show is start, back on the table. We start with it. Andy. Andy or the sleepy one? We called it, baby. If we're if we're looking at you know they, they've not been hiding their order choices, it could be Point Joe again. Who are you icing here? Just me. Entertain me. Okay. Go with the mating the Kid. Okay. Kid versus the Joe. I, I wanted to see the Joe so bad. I'm so glad we got the Joe. All right. Game one of Grand Finals right. here at Max Mode. Woo. Let's see how this Joe works out. No Kyo this time. No Naj this time. Sticking with the Sylvie. But the Joe is back, baby. The Joe and the Fireball War. This is going to be very interesting. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I want to see if he still has the Joe touch, the Midas touch. <laughs> Let's see. This might be the pick of all time. He might not be ready. Round zoner one. against Zoner. Ready? Joe Higashi Go. versus the Hider. Game one in the Runs jump over jump. with the cross up. Round start. Cross. Again. Oh, no. Is this a three touch? No, nope, we're back. Never mind. We're Slide stoked. a little too deep. Oh! Okay. Let's go to the other corner. No! Oh no, too far. It went. Feels so bad. Round one going to Chris G. It's all right. We'll see the Joe again. I have faith. But Chris G starting with a super early and really big lead. Also, the bar is not too far apart either. Chris G put a lot of work there. Woo! The neutral jump to me. This is where Sylvie thrives. Yo, overhead. Yo, overhead. We got overhead. No mag No quick max available though. Not able to pressure much after the dark cancel. Nice. Gets a punish with the 2D there. Think off. Nice jump! Now that's the buff to the JCDs being able to go over fireballs with the aerial hurt box. We are now in an even game. Net and Kun coming out against the Sylvie. Jumps over! Oh my gosh. Gets the cross up and even cross. better! F Kang using the momentum from last set to run a train over Chris G right now. 
Make it to the DX Fireball, kind of halted the momentum there, but you can see that F King is still on the upper foot. Can't dash over that. A little too little, too late. We got Blanca Ball versus Dash Punch. Who wins? Sylvie Paula Paula yet again. The world never changes. Yeah, it's true. The world refuses to change. No DT, but nice interrupt. Nice. Love the close seas. Still so tall from Yashiro. This character's normals are so sick. Nice. You should have the fireball, keeping Chris in place. Again. Let's see if he knows. But do you know? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Are we going to spend it all? Big, yeah. And that's the question. No. Nope. Let's it go to waste. The far D, no quick match, nice 2C to anti here. I say we'll take as many of these trades as we can. Another one. That should Big. be enough this to should kill. Be the kill. It's only gonna need another half bar. Oh, drops he drops it, it again! No, no kill. Not to kill. But finds a hit, this game. should be it! Sylvie Paula Paula doing wonders for F Kang here. Definitely uh, a little bit of disappointment from Chris there. He knows that he made a big drop there that could have changed the outcome of the game. Oh man, can't flounder now. F Kang with too much momentum. Round one. Ready? Another run back with the Joe. We're sticking with it. No switch to the Keo. Well, not that, not that he can. He won. <laughs> okay. Cross, but we're just going to roll out. Don't want to deal with that. Nice. Another flash kick. Wow, that was sick. Yeah, you can out fireball Joe Higashi. Slowing it way down. This is the old F Kang style. Yep, this is exactly what we've come to know and love from F Kang. Mashes out. All right, now you have to hold this left right. Cross. No, I was wrong. I got hit. So did he. He got hit twice. Oh, man. The Joe not doing a whole lot yet again. But the bane of our existence, Miss Laffy Taffy. He's second in the air there. No real momentum for you. Nice. Wow, even farther with the 2C. The cross cut. Tried to bait out another throw tech. Flash kick, though. Can we spend it? Yep. Not enough to kill? Oh no, it doesn't have EX for the OTG either. Sylvie so definitely bleeding a little bit, but but does get the finish over the 30 seconds. Yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot of meter though. So definitely FK playing on the back foot for this next round. Ready? Go! Nice dance out air. Yo, the stand CD to beat the Met and click stand CD. No punish, but oh, we got the bar have, out. Why does he have such fast recovery? Nice, gets a 2D. Plus frames. Yeah, Chris G doing all that he can to not get guard crushed right there. Find so much momentum off of just the rollout. Wow, that hit? What the? Overhead, Overhead no, no super cancel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Santire. The running charge. Yeah, the running charge flash kick. We love to see it. Tart partitioning my goat. He drew anti air. Big push to the corner. Nice. Uppercuts the cone. Nice. Ends up getting the confirm. Nice, you stay there. 
Gets the OTG, now guess. Another overhead. Oh, you're dead? No, 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 no. If it was EX, I think it was dead. This is huge. Not enough. Spend it all. Jesus. Yo, boxes? The EX dash punch, Chris G responding with game number two. Mei Kuhn definitely giving him a lot of trouble there. I mean, the uh, the hider and all of a sudden clutching up, killing the Joe again. Yeah. Joe not getting a whole lot of chance to play, but we're sticking with it. He had the chance to switch. Okay. Unfortunate fireballs. I, I think that almost every single one. The overhead. overhead. Yeah. Oh, active frames. Gets another one. Yeah, gets the, gets the confirm off of that with the kick. This flash peek out. You got to do it sometimes. Oh, no. Gets crossed up. All right. Now you have to block again. Actually gets the empty low on the cross up again. Yeah, and then he gets another hit confirm again. Did not believe in the special cancel. Oh, man. The Joe is getting ran over yet again. Good tech. Ah, uh, that there's that weird acceleration yeah, that we were talking about too before. Early. Oh man, Hard Joe not looking too good. Definitely unfortunate, but worst comes to worst, he has another game to play with. Yeah, I wonder if we see the switch if he doesn't win this one. Yo, Hydern doing the work. Hop back, gets the chase that. down. That's enough to kill. Last hit. <laughs> Just enough. Chris can't believe it. Pretty unhappy about that's that, that one. That's that Netta combo. Yo, roll up on him. Man, that flash kick could go. Nothing, nothing is like it. Strange stuff, yeah. Does not believe in the wreck of that time. Gonna yeah. get hit for it. The follow up really killing people today. Oh! Jump in, it's clean. This is so big. Yeah, that is that is huge. That's a huge momentum swing. Guess the command oh, grab. Throw. Not enough to not kill. Enough, of course. But we're in a great spot to close the round. And the dash punch. Hits yeah. to 32, has a little bit more health to play with. Oh my god. Both with the same idea again, but Maiden Coon's just edging out. Yeah, he is the goat with that dash punch. Alright, so much game. damage. That ping in an awful spot. Good punish on the whiff. That should be the round. Okay, we're not out of it just yet. We're gonna get the most amount of life back that we can. Puts FK a little bit of a little bit over half. Definitely have a shot too. Admittedly, uh Christie Joshua been dropping quite a bit on big punishes, so FK may have a little bit to play with. Excellent corner oh pressure at the man. moment. There's a quick max. All right, we're gonna Will he finish the combo? Okay. Total reversal all the way to the other corner. Get the trade. That I'm gonna do good with so it. Well. All right, no DP for you. Pressure on the rollout. Oh no, the far seat. Yeah, gets All right. the dash punch confirmed. And Chris G one game away from taking KOF here at max mode. And we're switching out that Joe. The Sylvie is saying we're seeing the Benny Maru. The Sylvie and the Chizuru. 
Oh no, Joe. And if he wins with this, he has to stick with his team for another game till the potential reset. Would love to see more Joe, but it's true. Just wouldn't work it out right there. Uh, back to the Binimaru. I, I think I recall that he performed fairly well. Chris G was just barely getting the best of him. Back in, uh, what was it, Winter Simi? Yeah. Uh-oh, the Hyper Galaxy Ring. No concert <laughs> hall. I was expecting it. Nothing will stop this show. All right, let's see how the Benny ends up faring. The Benny did real well against Dino Tail, but this is a hider and this is a different beast of a character. This is the potential last game of Grand Finals here at Max Mode for KOF 15. One. Ready? We're going go. to the ring. Benny go. Maru in place of the Joe. Not able to hop over that one. Nice run under. Good punish. Yeah, gonna get a good punish there. Gonna get a whole bunch of meter from that. Ooh, finally we see the dive kick coming out. First time we've seen it in top eight. Ah, uh, there's the round. Off to a great start. Yeah, wow. F-King clearly not ready to go home. Nope. The Benny clearly ready to put in work and more of it. Christy not ready for the switch. Ready? Chases down the roll, gets some pressure going. Chris G with some serious momentum after fighting out of the corner. Yeah, that momentum is getting stuck. Half health already on this Matt good. All these hit confirms on F Kang right now. Oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> what an answer. Bad hit. Jump over the command throw. Oh, but he didn't get the full confirm. Wow, that traded? Oh! Again. Right again! Just over Benny Moru! Benny OCV? Potential. Potential. We are eerily close to say, a game I, five I don't here. think that we've seen this matchup yet today. I don't think so either. No, it gets air hit. Yo, we covered so fast though. He's fast like lightning. Okay, there should be enough to kill with the level one super. Oh, ah! miss! Not like this, okay. To see. Alright, still in it, but two more characters to go through. The great wall F Kang has set up. Sylvie and Jizuru. What a round start. Keep it safe. Just slowly push the corner. Does catch the roll through. All right, the confirm. Believes in the Rekka. That thing trying to fight his way out of the corner. There's oh, the TD punish, not punish big. Plus frames. Plus. Seeing so much party from this movie. Okay, no confirm on the far C. Wow, that anti air. <laughs> Yo, that's a great confirm. This should be that dead. Should be it, yeah. Let me see your Denji beam. Denji beam. Denji beam. <laughs> Game five. five. Here we are. Do we see the Andy come out to save Christie's potential? There is member select. We found it. The Andy potentially coming out. The Denji team is here to play. F King stuck with his team. There's Andy. There it is. One more game separates Chris G from his fifth tournament here at Max Mode, or F Peg.
from a potential reset. Is it, we, we need the Benny sweep again. That's, that seemed to be the character who's taken FK through the most. <laughs> of the game, what do you want? Game five here. Oh my gosh, the black screen of death. Yeah, the 30 second so black wait. screen. Benny <laughs> Maru, despite what the life says, definitely feel like FK has, uh, has the momentum here. Okay, much slower start to this than the last game. Nice, with the flash kick out. The 2C clips yet again. First through the 60 whiff, so not gonna be any big reward. Good wow. confirm. Yep, nice stay in the corner. Just play that contained style, guard cancel, but nope. he's gonna fight his way back out. No flash kick, wow. So slow. Yeah, very, very slow. We are down to 20 seconds left. Nice. Yari, uh, Binimaru finally. Yo! That two bar is able to hit the convert. Is this going to kill? Yes, it yes. is! FK on one right now. Another 4D hit confirmed, taking the round over Christy. Andy coming back into play. We haven't seen him in a little while. Maybe another chance to save Christie's tournament life. Save, but aside from the pressuring afterwards, does get counter hit. We still have the corner position though. Looking really good on FK's side. No DP. That is the one thing that we haven't seen that's enough to kill. Yes, it is. That is the one thing we haven't seen from this Andy is Chris G let a DP rip, which FK can use to his advantage, especially with a character with a JC like Sylvie. Stand your ground. Ready? Go! Oh, oh wow. Super long jump. No punish on the uh, whiff that time. Nice, throw. Good yes. confirm. Another hit confirm. Into the reset and just more buttons. Oh wow! Oh! Big punish. That's huge. He has damage. enough to kill, doesn't he? Not enough. Choosing not to. Yeah, choosing not to. I don't know if the roll was oh, no. what they wanted there, but. A lot of damage done to the Andy, and a still a lot of bar to go through the Chizuru here. Trade. Yeah, Andy really can't throw fireballs here. Another trade, trade in Andy's favor. Woo! Every trade and the Andy dies is very nice. Oh. The 2A immediately oh. after the whiff clone. No recovery. We are going to the final character here of game five. Chizuru with a significant meter lead over the Yashiro. Party, FK definitely trying to take it slow. Convert into that uh, that seal super so they can run much more oppressive offense. Or four. Whoa. Nice to see again. Nice again. No record two that time. Stay in this corner. The contained style, so good. Got the hit good. confirmed. This should be enough into the climax. We should be seeing a reset here at max mode. Just He's enough so to kill! Reset here! Let's watch some more KOF, everybody. Sound good to you? We're already like three hours into this top eight. What about another half an hour? Long as we get to keep seeing the same good quality of matches, I'll stay here all night.
insane stuff. KOF, of course, ruining the schedule yet again. <laughs> Love to see it immediately into the first game of the reset. Stinger, just keep doing it. Go all the way to the end of the string. Runs past the Red Jenkins, just in an active frame. Oh, just commits to it. F Kang does have a few more games to play with here. Wow. He jumps into the corner. It might cost him. Go confirm. <laughs> I didn't even believe it hit. That was so weird. Finds oh, the that's hit. the round. Yeah. An exciting bout from round one. That is going to be enough to kill Christy. Finding the first round here Ready. in the grand final. Say, when his, when his high turn has gotten started, it's been a pretty big deal. Another flash kick. Down. No uppercut. That's yeah, right. I think there's too much recovery there. We're gonna see a wheel here. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Damn it. All right, guess. Left, right. Are we gonna go MP. for the far D? No, same side. For the close D, I should say. Run all the way up. Run up on him. Steal his J's. What? Man. Steal his J's. <laughs> Yeah, so scared of the flash kick. All right, oh the hider putting in work here in the first game of the reset. Still pretty healthy, not too many resources, but who needs ready? Who do Good punish. Okay, bets on the EX reversal. Oh man. Yeah, Hyder trying to run out as much clock as he can. Get far. Better if he just wants to get some damage on. Nice, got the EX Stormbringer for the big combo. Jeff Kang just ridiculously far behind. Kinda hard to come back into. Any hider and hit will do it. Woo, finds a throw. Killing so much time, even if he does get the kill here, he's yeah. off the spot. Another one. One more throw will kill. He doesn't need it, but not a lot of help. Come back with less than 400. Two more characters to chew through. Okay. There we go. That's a start. We're not going to start at all. We're just going to get the seal. Arf, arf, arf. Big man. Run up throw. Yeah. Definitely understand Chris G more willing to block because he doesn't have those big options. Oh, boy. The SWC killer. <laughs> He's playing the video game right now, bro. Oh, he found the oh, hit. Oh, that's the round. Well, all, all it took was one. The goddess of victory smiles upon the winner. Well, Chris G, after a very long and hard fought game one, uh, gonna gonna head into the set up a point. Yeah, Kang must be feeling a little stressed after that one. That was the hider was putting in work. Incredibly long game, yeah. The hider put in work that time, but I mean we have seen the Benny run it over before. But that is only game one here. We do have at least two more. Cheezer moving out to the front. Okay, back to the, the, the classical China stage. 
Let's see what he's up to here. I wonder if he's thinking that the uh, the reflect is super valuable against Hydern. Maybe. I'm curious. Man, they are laughing. They are enjoying it. <laughs> Round one. All right, Ready? Chizuru in the front. The Sylvie sitting in the back. Well, we're we're already off to a pretty good start. I know we had the uppercut out right there, but F King still has the momentum. Whoa, what a flash kick! Man, Chris is jumping. Oh, gets caught again from the air to air. Chris with the preemptive JCs, and speaking of JC. Left, right. Low. Same side, low. Low. Not enough to kill, but is it a chip game? Fireball? Yeah. Yeah, roll forward loses, roll back loses. That was the end of that one. Now that we have the uh, the point match from the first game, but Vinimaru actually has bar this time. Let's see how this shakes out. Flash kick yet again. That's the name of the game with this hide earn right now. Oh, no flash kick that time. Caught him without charge there. Not able to capitalize much more. A lot of pressure coming off of Chris G. These two C's always landing. Oh, no. That was going to be enough yeah, to kill, and the Benny is gone. Getting so much health back as well. I mean, timer aside, all those four figures. Yeah, the hider putting in work right now. FK maybe running out of gas. Ready, go. Sylvie has been performing. Is it enough though? They have five bar, but you want to Whoa! What a conversion! Oh, it's time! It's time! Show me your Denji beam! Let's go! Denji beam. Denji beam. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, that's a great lead ahead of the high turn. Two bars left. Okay, catch CD. <laughs> Ooh, jump back, JCD to catch the close C. So a big hill to climb, but his Sylvie may just do it. You gotta kill the high turn yep. quickly. Yes. Recognize the jump that time. All right, the high turn is gone. The big problem. Yeah, but now the Andy is here, an even bigger problem. Is Andy still been clutching up plenty? Oh, no DC there. Cut. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll say you don't want to whip that in front of Andy. Nice hit confirm. All the way to the corner. That name. Ooh, gets another elbow. Good pressure, so I try and push him back just a little bit. When we do eventually find a hit, it's going to be rewarding. Big jump in. Wow, even better hit confirm. Good confirm. Shatter! That's what we love to see from the Sylvie. But the Andy was such a far lead right now. Yeah, the jumps have been really good for Chris. Another chatter. This should be the round. Yeah, this should be enough. All and right. the Sylvie ran it all the way back to the anchor. A little bit low on time. Not going to be terribly healthy, but Sylvie makes a lot happen. Final round. Ready? Christy, of course, a light confirm will take it here. Oh. That JC was so scary. Ooh, 2B, yeah, he doesn't get a lot air. off of the 2B. Yeah. Oh, no DP. Tried oh, to, no, that's the game. Definitely tried to DP that time. Definitely tried to DP that time. It's a little behind. Chris G, up 2-0. F-King, definitely tell he's unhappy with that. I hear the character select. Oh, the kill's back. Yeah, Kyo Silly Chizuru once again. Alright. Now I wonder if we're gonna see the uh, the different order again this time. I don't Chizuru think, I don't first think we put sure Chizuru didn't do anything. 
Yeah. So. I wonder why the Chiefs are in the front. I wonder what he was trying to, to think there with the game plan. Oh, we're at the beach. We had the beach. All right. If F. Kang wins with this team, he's stuck with it for the entire rest of this set. He needs to 3 0. We will see if F. Kang has it in him. Yeah, once again, big mountain to climb, tough matchups here. This high turn has been doing so much work for Chris G. But F. Kang did take the first set. We're here in the reset. He's shown that he's able to do it. Good okay. anti air. Way to start things off. Yeah, great recognition. Another flash kick from Chris. Been on point. Wow, that hit. Tries to chase down all the way to the wreck of three. So slow. This is not where Kyo wants to be. Oh, it's a back AD. Yep, another flash kick through the second Rekka. Woo! The armor on the EX Bodega. Yep. Oh, I'm man. actually surprised I didn't trade. Yeah, just outlasted the guard point just a little bit. Flash kick that time it traded. All right, it was a start. Wow, another uh, EX Bodega a finds his mark. Yeah. Oh! Big punish! He should just make it easy. Wow, baits out the flash kick that time. Say we've seen a lot of commitment on offense between these two. The flash kick was a, a pretty reasonable guess. But Chris G's also so ahead. Like, whatever. He changed color on the Andy again. That is the one thing, is that FK could probably get away with the second record more on the Andy, because Chris G has not been DPing with this character at all. Unlike with the Bank Kun and the Hider. Yep. More pressure. Very tough for FK to fight out. Oh, cancel on the elbow that time. Oh, but the JD this jumping. Is huge. The walk back to be guard cancel out. No punish on the whiff that time. No punish on the 3D, 3D no cancel. Yeah. There's the DP. There's the Not enough, but we are going to chase down the back dash. Yeah. Finally, using Andy's DP. See if we see more of it throughout this set, but FK on even footing right now. Go there to air, wow, picks it up into the 2D. That is huge. Oh, that was a wake. Overhead, spending it all Overhead, to get rid back. of this Andy. Not gonna have enough right. for the OTG, so one more guess. A nice smash out from Chris. Can't afford too many of those. Oh no, gave it away. That is the first time that Chris hasn't pressed hasn't after that reset. reset yeah. Reasonable enough guess, but it does put you in a bad, bad situation. Yeah, if you can get away with it, never mind. He's just different. What the? All right, you're sealed here. No elbow mask. Put some chip great with punish that with was the 2D. That was, that was 6A. Interesting mash out there from Chris, but now we are on the anchor matchup. Yashiro with a slight meter advantage over the Chizuru. Banana, banana. Now we've seen this matchup go either way. Okay, air hit, safe. Yeah. Nice, again, the Chizuru. Yeah, Contain, play slow, push them into the corner where you can start doing your stuff. Yeah, this is the containment zone. Oh, no 2C that time. Maybe a little bit weird on the spacing. F King didn't believe. Now Chris in control of the neutral. F King pretty committed to not guard canceling. Knows he needs this bar. Air hit, safe. Yo! What a trip guard! Not going to be enough, but we do get the seal. Yo, the cross! The first time F. Kang has done that in this set to secure game number three. And Chris is like, you had that this whole time? He wasn't ready. That's a classic. He wasn't ready. <laughs> F. Kang pulling out new surprises to the very end. Listen, it's all, it's all you need. It's all you need is one.
All you need is one, and then the spiral begins. Kang laughing because he knew he, he knew he was holding on to that one. Now that it's a consideration at all. Yeah. Now, now you have to be a little bit more wary on defense. <laughs> oh man, Chizuru cheap, Chizuru tree. <laughs> okay, game number four. Chris G still one game Round away one. from taking this bracket here. Hydern trying to start slow. But then immediately accelerating, just trying to meet Kyo. Cross cut, but we don't even try for the, the real was, mix up. He was expecting the, the, cross, the cross up low, I think. There it is. Rolls out. A flash kick again on the second Rekka. This is rough. Kyo has a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, way too much. Nice. Uppercut through the stinger, no chip for you. Potential comeback. Throw into an unfortunate trade. I wonder what he was trying to guess on there, but great stuff from Chris. Takes it on the air-to-air -air trade. A really rough start for F Kang. We're back to the Sylvie. She's got to put in a lot of work. She's done it before. Wow, nice match from Chris. Up, down, left, right. Whoa. The throw that time. Oh, no. Win punish. Yep. Recognize the full jump that time. Pressure gets the rollout. Yeah, that's the bad thing about the plus move. Wow, that was a tricky situation. Did the same side into nothing. Really down so bad. The clock is getting low. Ooh, no run up EP. Nice 2C. We do have the corner position, but again, Chris fighting out so excellently. No cancel, so we're not going to lose. We're going to lose the round if we're not finishing the combo. Yeah. Okay, Sylvie is still in it. Not going to have a whole lot of life. In the Andy, we no seem to be a problem. Bar, yeah. Stand your ground. Ready? Go. There's the DX yeah, uppercut. That's a great way to start the round for Chris. Gets the low right, reset after the elbow, and it's all down to the cheeser. Got to believe in his girl. Has to do it all here. Has to go through two characters. Wow. All right. Seal him up. OTG. The well, it jumps out, but does find the trip guard. Starts pressure again, but now we're back in the corner ourselves. Try to bash on oh, the whip elbow rough. again. Reset, hits a button that time. This is a simple throw. Run up low. This should be enough to kill. Oh, no. No. Very close, though. Back. Oh wow. no! The counter hit for the juggle. I don't know. Even Chris like recoiled from that. I don't even think he expected DP to come out. I think he expected Fireball to come out. You take what you get, especially when it gets you the win. Yeah, great stuff to Chris G yeah. taking his fifth tournament here at Max Mode. KOM 15 over F Kang. He showed up and he really showed up this man. weekend. That's a surprising upset because definitely a lot of people had F Kang to win this bracket. Oh yeah. Especially, you know, considering his performance last week and yeah. really throughout the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a big upset. Chris G just coming out of the woodwork to enter another KOF bracket to, you know, take another one from under our noses. Great stuff. Vans is walking home with a paycheck, too, because we got that SNK pot bonus. Yeah. SNK raising the stakes. Shout out to them for supporting their games. Yeah. Uh, crazy, right? Yeah, that was in the All right, here stuff. we go for our Good award ceremony. To Chris G. Shout out to our top three. Handing yeah, out the medals. We're going to the award ceremony, guys. Leave you to, I believe that Big Bates is going to be there. And for third place. Track it himself. See y'all. Dino Tell. That man was cooking.
And then in second place, the ATL Brazilian, FK. The Atlanta Brazilian. <laughs> we love them out here, y'all. We love our Brazilian. And now, man. Shout out to your grand finals. I'm doing this again. First place. Your winner of Maximo 2024, Chris G. Good stuff to Chris G. Congratulations, sir. Good, good stuff. Another we appreciate plaque. all the love How for KOF. Thanks That's for everybody right. that participated. <laughs> Next up is gonna be Tekken Top Eight, and y'all don't want to miss that. Trust Next me. Next is Tekken Eight Top Eight. Heard from Bates right there. That is it for your KOF 15 Top Eight here at Max Mode. We hope you enjoyed, but that will be it from us. Yeah. Hank, do you have anything you want to say? Not sure who will be on the mic with you guys next, but enjoy them. We're all looking forward to some great Tekken. Be sure to stick around. We'll be back soon. Yep, that is it. Peace. See y'all.